She's old. She's probably like 25. I'm Billy. Well, I didn't think I missed it. Yo, what is up? Hello, hi, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, late night gang for sure tonight. Holy crap. Very, very late night gang. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, Wolverham, thank you so much for the 13 months, by the way. That is my lucky number. I appreciate that you've been around that long. That's a goddamn great number. Very, very good number. Um, yeah, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a short one tonight because it's, uh, it's late. And I was very tired. I, I woke up really early today um, to handle some car stuff, which didn't have the greatest outcome. So I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Um, but, you know, we're, we'll hang out for like a little bit. That's what Late Night Gang does. And it might turn into a longer bit because that's something that sometimes happens to Late Night Gang as well. Uh, but we're going to be doing some GeoGuessr today. Just it's casual, chill, vibing out, talking, you know, about whatever and trying to find the locations of places um but yeah so that that's tonight's uh tonight's stream um part of the reason that i i sort of like forced a late start time was i'm not going to be able to stream tomorrow uh, morgan and i are going to a local like halloween party thing which should be really really fun very excited for it uh but it happens during a time where like i don't know if we're going to stay for the whole thing but like depending on how exhausted i am from that maybe i will stream most likely i will not um so just as a heads up for plans for the weekend uh but something else that you should know friday tomorrow there's going to be in the discord uh a movie night a horror movie night double feature uh, that you can, if you're part of the Discord, you can see the instructions on how to join it. Um, but uh, go check out the Discord if you're not a part of it already. 
and you should be able to uh, not vote anymore. The movies have already been decided, but there's a double feature, one of a family-friendly horror film, uh, well, horror-themed, I guess. It's just Beetlejuice. If you haven't ever seen the classic Beetlejuice movie, uh, that's the first one. And then the second movie that they're going to be showing is going to be Train to Busan, uh, which is a Korean zombie horror movie that has some gore and um, heavier themes and whatnot, but the uh, the mods are putting together like a list of content and trigger warnings. So, yeah, that is something that's going to be happening over on the Discord, and it's going to be really fun. If you want to go for just one or the other movie, or if you want to be there for both, uh, the mods put a lot of work into putting that together. So... There's that. Those are the Friday plans. So even though there won't be a, uh, a stream here, most likely you can hang out on the Discord with each other and watch a movie and enjoy. Especially if you haven't seen Tra uh, Train to Busan. If you haven't seen that before, it's a very good Korean film. Hey, what's up, Lucy? Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Uh, I have work because Beetlejuice is one of my favorite movies. Oh, wait, and musicals? I, I keep forgetting that he Beetlejuice really is like a really she's successful she's musical. Like so. We'll be the streamers. Yeah, exactly. The mods will be the streamers. They'll be streaming the movies for you. Thank you so much, Austin. I appreciate that. 43 freaking months. Thank you so, so much. So that's the weekend plan. I hope that uh, if you do have plans, you stay safe. You have fun. You know, all that. So, ignore my typos. I can't even blame typo demons tonight. I'm just dead tired. I mean, again, I, I know how that is. I'm exhausted. So, um, again, low energy night, just doing GeoGuessr and vibing out with whoever decides to come through. Uh, and it's unfortunately, it's all I can offer. It's all I can offer tonight. There's not going to be a lot of, like, craziness tonight. Um, just due to the fact that uh, I also have special plans for Sunday. So, uh, Sunday stream should be really fun. And... I hope that you can all join me for that one. And then I might do another special stream on Tuesday. So just as a heads up, uh, that is going to be sort of the holiday, Halloween slash weekend plans going going forward. Uh, I'm going to a Halloween party with my boyfriend tomorrow night. And we're going as a zookeeper, me, and a party animal, him. <laughs> That's a cute couple's costume. I hope you have a lot of fun. Hello to everyone joining. Welcome to the stream. I know it's late, but we're here. We out here. Late night, gang. Um, let me uh, let me show off. Let me show off the uh, thing that some people are probably here for from the tweet. Um, if you haven't seen the pictures on Twitter or Instagram, um, I was getting kind of sick of my hair dipping into my my food. It was like really long um long hair is awesome but it's a lot of work and it's kind of unwieldy so morgan had been offering for a while to give me a haircut i finally was like yeah please do it it'll be really nice so um i'm gonna put myself on camera without my headphones on so that you can see morgan's handiwork i'm really happy with it she sort of went with the like 80s uh like like late 80s early 90s sort of like Keanu Reeves Johnny Depp look um so I think that it turned out pretty well I'm still getting used to it I keep like reaching back to like pull my hair up and it's like not there you know so that is uh that is your all the preparation you get but hair reveal check it out look at it go it's nice and PC she did like it in little chunks and segments so it's kind of like lighter. I forgot I had cheekbones because the way my long hair covered my cheeks, my cheekbones, it sort of like elongated my face like in a way that wasn't super flattering. But now you sort of get like a better scope of my features, I guess, which is kind of neat. Have you thought about parting it to the side? Not really because I did that for like eight years of my career. <laughs> so it's good this way for right now. That's sort of the way that she cut it as intended. It's supposed to... You get a little bit of the preview. I like it a lot. Um, Interactive Ira, thank you so much for the 21 months with Prime. Damn. Thank you so, so much. Love it so much. Thanks, Kia. Cheekies. What's up, Falcon? How you doing? Uh, so now we have Kylo Bryan and Keanu Bryan. Yeah, I mean, last time I did the hair, Morgan cut my hair. She did a great job as well. And she uh, did sort of like more modern Keanu. So like my hair is was about like this length last time she cut my hair 
uh, and it looked a lot like, you know, Keanu as we know him now. But this is more like Keanu from, from like, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, you know? So I'm pretty happy with it. I like it. I don't care if people like it or not because um, it's not your hair, so. <laughs> but it, it's nice that some people do like it, so. Uh, yo, what's up, Chaotic? Welcome to the stream. Hello. Just noticed a new emote. Yeah, I forgot to mention that as well in, like, the going live announcement. We have a brand new emote that you have been asking for for a while. There it is. Kia's using it. Um, we have the Gerb Umer emote. Um, to prevent us from doubling up on two Bs in a row, it's not Gerb Boomer. It's Gerb Umer. So check that out. Also hybrid. Yo, what's up, Miss Lush? Thank you so much for the nine months. I appreciate that resub. That's really nice of you. Thank you for supporting the streams. It's really, really cool of you. So yeah, we have Gerboomer. So anytime I'm being old on stream about anything, feel free to use that. If my reflexes suck, if uh, I start talking about shit from way back in the day, it's right there. I also, I love this because, so the editing program I use to make myself look old, um, this amount of like facial hair, uh, <laughs> it would take me until I'm about whatever age I am in this photo, in this emote, to grow that much fucking facial hair. It would take such a long time for me to get to that point. Because I, I just don't, I don't, I grow it, like, I have to shave every day, but I've let it, like, go, you know, for, like, weeks, like, two weeks at a time, and all I get is that, like, prepubescent, or I guess not prepubescent, but, like, pubescent, like, like, freshman in high school like dirt stash that's all i can grow i just get this like disgusting little stubble all over my face it would take me until i'm like however old this this emote makes me look to grow any facial hair that looks like that so yeah <laughs> baby face gang what's good i mean that's that's me chat here's something that's gonna fucking blow your mind uh, some of you who don't look up personal information about uh, streamers and stuff. Because this is publicly available. It's even in my Twitter bio. But uh, here's the thing. Um, in uh, Here, you can you can spam Gerb Boomer, or Gerb Umer at me for this one, chat. In about two and a half weeks, it is going to be my 37th birthday. Also, thank you for the hype train. Damn, I just noticed that. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, gonna lurk because I had a shit day. So yeah, good noodle. Okay, take care, Sarah. I hope that your night improves. That's sort of like uh, where I'm at as well. I'm like so tired. <laughs> I'm just exhausted from today. So, because I'm old. I'm exhausted. Did you say 37? I said 37. It's literally right in my Twitter bio. I have my full birthday in my Twitter bio. Also, if you Google my age, it comes up on, like, 17 different websites. So, definitely said 26. <laughs> but, yeah, no, that that is, uh, that is real. So, a lot of people were, like, when you got, when I showed off the haircut on Twitter, they were, like, holy shit, you look, like, 10 years younger. And I was, like, yep, yeah, yeah, got those. Skincare, start your skincare now. I'm begging you, start skincare now. And also get Korean genetics. Okay? It's that easy. You'll always be older than me. That's very true. You're catching up, though. You're six and a half years older than me and always forget that because you got them good genes. <laughs> I was very blessed um, as far as, like, youthful look. You know? You look maybe 28. I'd take that. God, I miss my reflexes from when I was, like, 28. Good lord. I will obtain Korean genetics. Um, do it in only a legal fashion, please. Don't, don't, don't get any of those black market Korean genetics. Those are watered down and diluted, you know. Uh, spe with, like, cat DNA. Speaking of, I'm playing a Hello Kitty birthday game on Nintendo DS. Hashtag Gamer Girl. Hell yeah. He Live your best Hello Kitty old. lives. She's Honey, so thank you so much. That's Morgan's mom. For those of you who don't know and can't tell from the Mama Trove there in the username. Thank you for 33 months of supporting the stream. Holy cow, I'm a whole adult, and your age is surprisingly close to my parents. That's because some of you are zygotes. Some of you are zygotes in this community, okay? 
you feel like you're an adult, but you don't understand being an adult until you're as ancient as me and have experienced as much of life as me. When I tell my stories, by the way, where I'm like, I used to do this and I lived this other lifetime and shit, it's because I, I've li lived long enough and been through enough, like, weird shit that, uh... That I have, like, stories stored up. Like, I had a whole other life before I ever became a content creator. I experienced a lot of the the real world. I moved all over the place. I, I lived in, like, a bunch of different places and engaged with a bunch of different people, you know? Chaos Crypt, thank you for the raid. Welcome to the stream. About the age my parents were when they had me. <laughs> bunch of gerb oomers. Oh, my he God. Thank you, Chaos Crypt, for the 14 months as well. Tell us about your stream. What were you up to? Busy, what's up? Hello, hi, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Gym Leader Jade, thank you for the raid as well. Welcome to the stream. What were you up to as well? Tell us all about your stream. Thank you so much for joining the the, uh, the stream tonight. So, but yeah, tomorrow is Friday energy. I hope so, because today was very much, I don't know, it, it was a Thursday, and Morgan and I both forgot it was Thursday. Normally it's our date night, but we were just both so tired we didn't do a date night. Um, so, and then like, Maybe like an hour ago, I was like, oh fuck, babe, it was date night. And she was like, I forgot too. Yeah, she even admits that right there in the chat. Uh yeah, we both forgot it was date night. So we didn't do date night. Holy crap, we got up to a level two hype train? Thank you so much. I didn't even realize that happened. I'm a bad streamer. I'm ungrateful. Your money means nothing here, chat. Unbelievable. Um Dead by Daylight with clown music? Jesus God, Chaos Crypt. Do you hate? Do you hate the years you have left in your life? You're trying to destroy them? That would erode my sanity and erode the rest of my lifespan, which we've just established from how old I am. That is not very long left, you know? New hair. It looks so good. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Toxic streamer forgets a date night with his partner. Hey, to be fair, toxic streamer girlfriend, also who's also a toxic streamer, uh, forgot date night. So, yeah. Hi, everyone. Just wanted to pop in and thank you. Just met an online friend who also watches your streams. Wait, what? Uh, Matt Trinks? I don't know if I'm saying your name right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. That's wonderful. I, I love hearing about stories of people, like, meeting in this community and actually becoming, like, friends and shit. Like, that's so awesome. That's so wonderful. I, I love that. That's, that's just sort of, like, really good vibes I need tonight. Not because I'm in a bad mood. I'm just exhausted. I'm so tired. I'm really tired. Um. <laughs> Good news. I was watching a Gerbigli VOD when I saw that he is live. Cool. <laughs> you're in the VOD now, Minty B. Oh my god. You're in a future VOD right now by typing in the chat. What the heck? You were watching one of my VODs and now you're inside the VOD. Very meta. I set up the content this way on purpose, obviously. Your hair looks so good. It's a nice change. Thank you, Puffin Blood. I honestly, it needed something like I liked having the long hair because it was easy to like do cosplay and fem up and like feel very like pretty at times. But uh, I think I can make this work. It's like very much like a cute bob. Um, plus, I have like a million wigs uh, for like cosplay already, so that's good. Uh, but it was just yeah, it was getting kind of like heavy and not fun to try to take care of and it kept falling into my food when I'd eat and uh, it was just time for a change so yeah I kept thinking today was Friday despite having yesterday off and my days off being Monday Wednesday Saturday listen I this was the most Monday energy Thursday I've lived through this year it, it I, I don't know what it was about today but I'm just flat on my ass exhausted all day long we met through Ethan and started to watch you together. We talked a lot about your streams tonight. What? That's so nice. Uh, tonight, that was so unexpected. Um, tonight it was so... Uh, wait, we talked about your streams tonight. It was so awesome. We carved pumpkins and made uh, tie-dye blankets. That's so cute. Or made tie blankets. That's so cute. That's so fun. I love that. That's wonderful. Well, whoever your friend is, I hope that you keep having so much fun and making good memories together. That's really, really sweet. Thank you for sharing that. Good lord. Uh, I got to meet one of my friends from Jordan's community last weekend. Now to make them part of this community too. Yes, we have... Again, listen. I knew this was going to happen. We talked about... I'm not verified on Twitter because I'm not... I'm never trending. I, I don't get, like, that many replies to my tweets. I'm not saying... I'm not being ungrateful for what I get. I'm very, very appreciative. But I'm calling you out, chat, on your hypocrisy. 
because this always happens. What happens is we do this like rallying cry here and I go, hey, all right. I know it's not going to happen and I don't expect it to happen. I don't want you to put extra pressure on yourselves as people who already give me your time here during streams and on YouTube videos and stuff. But like if this were to happen, if we were to commit to this, that would help me get like verified or whatever. You know, more of just it's not a call out. Oh, well, it is a call out, but it's more of a you guys go, yeah, let's do that thing. And then nobody does it. I'm, ca I'm calling you out for that part of it. And it doesn't matter when it's in relationship to me. Because honestly, if I don't ever get verified on Twitter, I don't give a flying fuck. Um, but what I do want to point out is don't let that override you following through on things in regular life. Okay? Don't, don't let that override everything. Alright? I don't want you to make that a bad habit. That's what I'm calling you out on. It's more for your benefit than mine here. Although if I like reap the rewards of that that's that's okay too for me okay so <laughs> definitely will she's going to look at the college i'm going to tomorrow wait what that's wild so hopefully she gets accepted and she'll be closer to me that's so sweet i'm so glad that you found like such a good friend through the community what the heck that's really really sweet thank you so much for sharing all of that that is adorable today i cleared out a clogged drain in my little patio thing not a patio, but I don't know what it's called. And my dog just waited around in the water and tried to bite the stick I was using to clean the drain. I mean, that sounds like a, a common dog W. He was like, cool. I got a I got a kiddie pool for myself. Big W for me. Uh, I DM YouTubes for a Gerbigli one all the time. Did you really? I see. That's the other thing. I don't think I have like a big viral moment that we'd be able to make into a, a YouTube. Oh, but wait. What if we made, like, a crab... Well, like, is crab milk, like... I know we reference it here. But is it a big enough thing in the community as common knowledge to warrant making a YouTube? Because I feel like the YouTube side of the, the, the fandom doesn't know what crab milk is. I feel like it's only the Twitch viewers. And you guys sort of, like, come and go. So, like, sometimes the memes die out. And even though we still have the emote... I feel like the re I feel like the Twitter and the, like... Even some of the Discord side and, like, the YouTube side wouldn't be aware enough of Crab Elk. We'd have to come up with something else to do a YouTube. I guess I could just do, like, a little Finger Hearts YouTube. Me standing there, like, you know, silly. We were watching you before she had to go, so I needed to say something. Oh, my gosh. That's so sweet. Ryan gets a haircut and immediately serves IRL Final Fantasy vibes. What the heck? That's actually such a flattering thing to say. How dare it? Like we get it. You're pretty. That's, thank you, Ekdo. That's really nice of you. Uh, he did the flood. Uh, he did love the flood, which is funny because he doesn't swim at all, but he likes standing in puddles. I feel like that's a common thing. When I see a puddle, if I'm feeling like specifically like very youthful in the moment, if I'm letting my inner child run around, I'll go stand in a puddle. Why not? It's fun. You know? Dogs got it right. You know, they're always chasing. They're always healing their inner puppy, their inner child. Long Papa, you twos. See, that's another one, though, that's only strictly the streams. Long Papa does not exist. Like, I do the Long Papa edit in YouTube videos, but I don't think, like, enough people would get it. Because we, I, here's the thing. If I'm going to release merch, I want to make sure that it's something that has enough of a significance and importance to... Like, everyone in the... Like, yes, a core amount of the content that I create these days is here via Twitch. Um, but I, I want YouTube to also benefit from those things. Because YouTube was where my first love was, you know? Like, I did YouTube content for years and years and years before I ever became a full-time streamer. It was, like, a very important... It's, it's why I... Like, my YouTube, not my Twitch, is why I got invited to, like, headline conventions and to do signings and panels and... And do like big business deals with like companies and stuff. That was way before I ever had any success on Twitch. So, uh, can you imagine what Long Papa would look like as a figurine? I think it would be actually fucking hilarious. But I just I don't. I want to make sure that like people are like, oh, if I'm buying this, like it means. I I don't care about you buying something that's me. I care about people having. Uh, I was literally just having this conversation the other day with someone. Um. The whole reason I even put out merch is not like that, ha let's make money. Like, yeah, that's a nice side effect of it. But it's very nice to be able to put things into people's hands that are high enough quality that, like, means something to the people buying them. 
that helps them represent the community and like feel like they're part of the community like if that part of it makes sense um i i want that always to be the priority is like i want it to feel like a special thing that makes you feel like you belong whether you're buying like the the brand new restock of beanies and sweatpants uh which you can find on gerbigui.limitedrun.com uh <laughs> we just did a big merch restock of that stuff whether you're getting that stuff that's like finger heart themed if you are buying if we ever release plushies or figurines like i've wanted to do um all of that shit i i want it to mean something i don't want people to just buy stuff because i the youtuber slash streamer told you to buy it i don't want to do like the typical influencer thing where and this is not throwing shade but it's just like a common practice to just release 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 stuff like just push it out push it out and it not really having any sort of like substance and significance to it and i i don't want to do that i want to make sure that this is something that like even if you leave the community because you get busy or something in life happens whatever you can like look at that like figurine on your desk or you can like look at that t-shirt that's like in the back of your drawer and be like wow i have really good memories of being part of this community I, I remember like when i was active like how much joy and like laughter this brought me um I, that's what i want i don't want to um just shill for the sake of shilling i don't want to just pump out crap that like there's just so much crap in the world already like i don't want that to be the thing so like this is why I'm so goddamn anxiety driven about all this stuff is I want it to like when I release this I don't want like a whole section of the community like the people on YouTube to go I don't I don't know I don't get that reference I if I, I like I want to buy this to support Brian but like it's never going to have that like it click factor for me and I I don't I don't want that I want it to click for people I want it to feel like it's something significant and Maybe not, important feels like too grand of a word, but like just something that like makes you remember good times, makes you remember good shit. Um, so if, if that makes sense. So that that's another reason like I haven't reached out to a lot of the companies like U2s or reached out to to other, like, you know, like I, I, I have to talk to SCP about maybe making like a SIG plushie at some point or whatever. Um, but yeah, oh, a, a GURB, wait. A Gerb Ayaya with a, a SIG U2? I mean, YouTube YouTube knew about SIG before Twitch did. So maybe that would be kind of cute. Maybe I could do like um, a Girl Beagly U2s with SIG, like standing by my feet or something, or curled up by my feet. That would be kind of cute. And people would get that, because I've been doing cosplay for a very long time. That's all over my social media. That's, that's on my YouTube. That's here, you know. So... I can think of like one content creator who had like a major merch release that was super awesome and since then has done like three or four merch releases that are just kind of soulless and mid. It makes me sad. I'd rather they do one big good merch release once a year than several half-hearted merch releases every year. Yeah, that's that's another thing too is like I when I release stuff, um, it's because I put like thought and I've had some sort of creative input into the releases. Uh, it's not just, again, like wow, I have this big, like, spreadsheet of, like, generic designs that I'm just going to slap on stuff. Um, there's always a lot of thought that's, like, put into it. And I'm not saying that, like, other creators don't do that. That's, again, this is not a shade thing. This is fully about myself. But, like, that's so important to me. I, I don't want people to ever go, ah, that was that was such a mediocre, like, merch drop. Like, I like with uh, Second City doing all the merch... The whole reason I even went with them was because I had bought so many merch drops from Unis Anis, um, and gotten so much stuff from, like, Ethan for, like, Softboy and whatever, uh, that I was like, I trust working with those, you know, this company. So, yeah, I keep thinking you mean SCP is, like, secure, contain, and protect. Uh, no, it, yeah, it's the, it's the merch company. So, um, really, really, really good, high-quality products overall, but also one of those things where, like, you know, I... I pontificate, I think about the shit a lot, um, I'm constantly neurotic, uh, as you all know, um, because it's important to me, it, it, like, means a lot, so, if I ever did do, like, something like a U2s, it, it'd have to be really, really special, it'd have to be something I know that people here and in other aspects of the community, outside of just the live streams, would appreciate and cherish and enjoy, 
Um, so if that make if you're ever disappointed why I don't put out more merch or I I don't do like big brand collaborations all the time, it's because it has to mean something to me. Um, and hopefully that purpose that I put into it then ends up meaning in the most parasocial way possible ends up meaning something to everybody um, who consumes my content and everything. So yeah. You put a lot of care into your merch, and like even other creators you collab will all do too, which is so refreshing to see because some of the top creators on Twitch are just showing very soulless, half-hearted stuff, and it's just really disappointing. Yeah, especially if you're spending that much money, it's just like one of those things, like, I know how much my merch costs to make, um, and that was something that I approached SCP originally with, where I was like, how low can we sell these things? Because the profit margin isn't like a really super important part about it to me like obviously yeah i'd like to make a little bit back just so i can put it back into the channel or put it back into future merch drops or whatever um but like i want to make sure mainly it gets to into the hands of people who appreciate what i do and want to represent the community that is like something that has always been important to me so yeah i'm very neurotic and that's on the forefront of my mind all the time Classic Finger Hearts U2, a Siggy cosplay one, and a Crab Milk plushie, all of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, th it doesn't mean that there won't be stream-related things. Like, Late Night Gang is something that obviously pretty much only pertains to the streams here. Um, so, obviously, a lot of the people on YouTube didn't end up buying those ones. The Late Night Gang drop that we did for the summer drop, actually, I think is the lowest-selling merch drop I've ever done. It still sold out a lot of items. It still did pretty well. But those, like, Forever Pride shirts, those ones, like, popped the fuck off with, like, the Pride Finger Hearts. Those were awesome. Those were really cool because more people could relate to those. But Late Night Gang is, like, yeah, there's still going to be things that are exclusive to Twitch. Um, but I just don't... I want to make sure that the balance is more general than it is specific of uh of the stuff that i put out so 90 percent, 98 percent of my merch is from scp two percent from designed by humans <laughs> i mean those are both both great companies honestly like <laughs> merch idea with pistons banner oh my god tito no like I was, I was just talking about to chat um it can't be just uh stream related because even though that's fun and even though i'm still gonna do that from time to time uh, we're definitely going to be focusing on making sure, like, the people who watch my YouTube videos and been following me for, like, 10 years now at this point, almost, uh, are also, like, getting something out of it and being like, oh, I feel, like, represented in this merch, and this is, like, something, it's important to me to, like, show off part of the community or my, my activity within the community or whatever, so. I love the Late Night Gang shirt. I loved them, too. I thought they were really great designs. It's just, again, it was one of those things where... Um, when people from the YouTube side of things saw them, they were like, oh, I don't really know what this means. Can you explain this? And I'd explain, uh, and they'd be like, oh, I've been trying to make your streams, but, like, I live in, like, the UK, and when you stream, it's like, I'm not gonna get up at, like, fucking four in the morning to go watch your stream. So, I get it. Um, and it's just, it's a, it's a balancing act that I've always been, like, super aware of, and I, I, I just don't want people to feel left out. That is, like, my biggest thing. I don't want... I don't want to just, like, be pumping out soulless merchandise. I want people to, like, feel like this is something that makes sense. So, stuff that's, like, SIG-related, I absolutely would love to do, like, a cat-related drop um, that's, like, based around, like, SIG or something like that. I think that'd be dope. So, <laughs> cater to me. This is a parasocial takeover. Oh, my God. I've trained you so well. Parasocially trained you so very well. By the way, hello, anyone joining. Check out the new hair. I got that gamer girl bob. I'm going to queue into Valorant, and I'm going to be like, yeah, bruh, buy me up next round. Uh, I think I actually wore my Late Night Gang chat shirt when I hung out with my online friend last weekend. That's so sweet. That's so cool. So glad that you like it that much. Um, new Bob, who dis, right? Morgan did a fantastic job, by the way. Morgan did this in our own house. We, just, uh, we bought a, like, $14 pair of, like, uh, salon shears, like hairdresser shears, and she like looked up a bunch of YouTube tutorials, and then was like, "Do you trust me?" And I was like, "Yeah." And then she she knocked it out of the park. Honestly, I, I like it a lot. I need to get one of the late night gang shirts. I'd literally live in it. I mean, honestly, again, they're they're very nice. All of them are very comfy. Uh, it's giving K-pop idol for me. I'm digging it. I'm okay with that compliment. That feels pretty good. <laughs> What's up, Nat? Uh, I'm. I hope that you've been enjoying your lurk. 
Uh, thank you so much for being here. Gerbobly. Oh my god. Of course, you had to put the B and the G next to each other. Gerbobly. You can just do Gerbobly. You had to make it so that it felt like I was having a stroke while I read that. I let Morgan cut my hair. She's got skill. This is the second haircut she's ever given me, and both of them were exactly what I was looking for in the moment, so it works. And again, I can I can still make this cute and femme if I want. I can make this a very cute bob, and it's going to make wearing wigs a lot easier for me, which is fantastic for cosplay. So, um, Subliminal stream references in your YouTube vids. Non-Twitch viewers will be confused. I don't know what this is, but it's familiar and I need it. <laughs> Parasocial brainwashing. Oh, my God. I got a beanie, and I've never had a beanie before. Oh, my God, an array. Well, I hope that you enjoy it. They're so comfortable, honestly. Uh, here's, here's I'll, I'll be completely transparent. Um, there's been a couple items that uh, SCP, like I've had a, a specific thing about them that I want done, and they'll be like, I can't do it. Like, we can't do it that way, like, because of the manufacturer, or like, shipment issues or whatever. Um, and I'm always like, okay, yeah, that's fair. Uh, let's, like, do a close approximation of it. And there's been a couple items where I'm like, oh, this is good quality and like it's worth what you pay for it, but it's not what like exactly what I wanted, but it's like good enough type of thing. Uh, and I'd, I'd say like, let me try to think of which ones that that pertains to, because honestly, they're they're all really good. I really, really like everything that we've ever put out, but um. Things like the beanies, holy shit. The beanies are like god tier quality. The beanies and the the joggers. Those two things specifically are my two favorite things from my own merch store. Um, the hoodies are, the cute face hoodie especially. I don't know what it is about that one, but like that's one of my favorite things to wear in the winter. Like it's so, so nice. Um, Brian, imagine getting tiny hair ties and doing cute like half up, half down pigtails. Yeah, I've had that suggested a couple times already. You're wearing the, wearing the gray sweatpants now? Oh my god, how comfy are they? Do you like them? Feeling so normal and sane on this fine evening? Oh my god, Shira, you here uh, in the same time zone as me shows me exactly how well your mental health is right now. Um, thank you to anyone, by the way, buying the merch. That's really cool of you. Again, if you want to pull up the link, you can just use the merch command in the chat, and it will pull you onto the merch page. If you click the past collections, we have a ton of stuff in the warehouse from previous drops, so you can buy some of the older hoodies if you want. Um... You can even buy some of the summer stuff. But uh, my thing, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I should go to my storefront. That would be more helpful. So again, beanies and the, the joggers, God tier quality. Um, if you're gonna buy anything from me, those two things are fantastic. All the hoodies are very good. The long sleeve yellow Gerbigli shirt that has like the Gerbigli logo on the front and then it has the Korean down the, the one arm. Holy shit, I, lo I, I love that shirt. I, um, I think it was, like, last fall I, like, lived in that shirt. It was so good. Um, all right. The one that, okay, the one that turned out a little bit different than what I wanted it to be was the, uh, EDU X ENT Ringer T. It's a really, really, really nice shirt. I love that one a lot, um, which has the, like, flowers on the front. I love how, like, like cute the design is and everything. But we had a different base t-shirt for the sample one that they sent me that was like a little bit thicker material and it had a peach ring um, on the on the sleeves and on the neckline. And I really liked that color a lot more with the flowers. And then something happened with the supplier and they were like, we have to change the type of t-shirt that we printed on. Uh, and I was like, that's fine as long as it's like close. And... Um, the ones that have come through since then, they're still, again, very nice. But what I noticed is it's a little bit thinner material on those Ringer t-shirts. And they're really, they're really, really good. But they're just, they're they're not exactly what I wanted, if that makes sense. So, which shirt did you live in? The yellow long sleeve uh, Kirby Glee shirt. I love that shirt. There's just, I don't know what it is about that shirt, but it's just so goddamn comfortable. It's so, so good. Perfect representation of my mental health is earlier this week when I slept on and off from 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. Had a nightmare about having rabies that continued every night I went back to sleep. Oh, my God, Shira. Here's something. Um, I wonder why you're getting those nightmares. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe it could be something about the media you consume all the time. 
Late Night Long Sleeve. Uh, that one's pretty good, too. Um, sort of the same thing where the sample that they sent us was printed on slightly different material than what you guys get. I still really like that shirt. I fucking love the design. That's probably one of my, like, that's my top three favorite designs that I've ever put out is that that Long Sleeve uh, Late Night Chats shirt. I love that a lot. Um, but it's, uh, again, the one that I have is slightly different. And I wish that all of them came out the way that that my sample one that was sent to me was. But still, that that's one of the the really really good ones. The Forever Proud shirts are like fucking they're they're simplistic, minimalistic designs, but they're fucking they're so good. They did such a good job. Again, my favorite detail about the finger hearts with the pride heart on them is that the fingernails are all painted different colors to reflect the pride flag. God, I didn't even ask for that as a design thing. I was just like, can we make a pride heart with the finger hearts? like logo like some sort of variation of that and they were like we got you and then they came back to me and they were like we painted the nails too and i was like that that's perfect that's fucking great that's exactly like i mean jesus maybe because of the thinner material uh but i found the red collar slash sleeves bits of the ringer tee they bleed a little oh no i'm so sorry yeah see i didn't know about that either that's such a bummer and that's because originally those were going to be a peach color and then the whatever happened with the supplier like it made it so it was not the same thing. Um, it was definitely because I had gone down a rabbit hole about rabies literally right before going to sleep, but I had no right to be the only dream I had that night. Oh, my God. Bridget, what's up? Hello. I hope that today's been better for all of you than for me. I feel like this was a weird Thursday for pretty much everyone because I, I didn't have a bad Thursday. I just had a weird Thursday. It was just weirdo energy. I was very tired all day because I got up kind of early and then got kind of bad news about a car. But outside of that, um, I didn't really do very much. I wasn't, like, super productive. I kind of just... I also sort of napped on and off a little bit today. Um, but, like, yeah. It's, <laughs> this is a weirdo energy in the air. Could also just be your washer. Yeah, I mean, you do have to be careful when you're buying any merch, obviously, to read the care tag. So maybe that's part of it. But I don't know. I Again, it wasn't quite exactly what i wanted them to create and it was one of those moments where we came to a compromise where they were like this is the best we can do and is that okay and i was like i love this design so like let's let's push it out let's see what happens um something was in the air this week i swear yeah i, I kind of feel that i definitely feel that uh the original logo tee that those of you who remember this one the t-shirt um i love this design first of all i this was originally going to be on a hoodie and then what ended up happening was this so this was going to be on like a hoodie hemline the the hangul the korean on the shirt and what happened was um scp was like we have a relationship with one of only three printing places that will print on a hem like that in the entire u.s and i was like holy shit let's make it happen that sounds fucking dope um most merch I buy usually uh, wash with cold water helps the color bleed issue. Yeah, that could that could help out. Um, but uh, I took 30 minute power nap. My best friend got me a cold brew and I've been cruising on autopilot ever since. What a freaking hookup from the BFF. Amazing. Um, anyway, so they called this person that they had this working relationship with and showed him the design. And he was like, I can't do that. I, I can't like promise good quality if we, we try to print all of that on a hemline um he's like you'd have to probably like embroider it and that would have raised the cost of those hoodies uh with that original design because what ended up happening as you all know is you ended up with the short sleeve and then you ended up with the long sleeve version uh that would have made those hoodies instead of um what the comparable ones of like the cute face this is my favorite hoodie by the way that i've ever put out uh which is forty dollars which is you know pretty reasonable for a hoodie um it, it would have made the cost of those hoodies like 70 bucks each and i was like Ab i don't care that it would have been like my vision coming to life i'm not going to charge my fans 70 dollars a hoodie that is way too motherfucking much um so the limited edition upside down short sleeves are my favorite my god that was the funniest print error that's ever happened so somehow on the printing floor for those of you who don't know during the initial drop because um this design was part of my very first merch drop ever um i remember that design i almost almost bought one but i was broke at the time you can buy one now you click past collections you can go and see what's available in in your size in the warehouse um you can you can click any of these old designs 
But when we dropped this, uh, they they were printing them and they were sending them out. And Jordan, it was back when him and I weren't very close yet. Uh, we were just sort of starting to get to know each other. Uh, he texted me a picture of him in the shirt. And he was like, yo, dude, I got one of your shirts. It's freaking dope. It's so comfortable. I love it. And I looked at the picture and this this bottom hemline of Hangul was upside down. It had somehow gotten flipped. And I was like, oh, fucking no. Oh, no. Um, and then uh, fans started tweeting pictures of me with their merch. And they were like, I love this shirt. It's so comfortable. Man, SCP did it again. And uh, they they were all upside down. And I was like, oh, no, what's going on? Why did this happen? It's an Australian hungal. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I emailed my rep and I was like, uh, did you see that this went off from the printing floor? I didn't realize because on the website, the design was fine. The design was right on the website. And just someone who wasn't familiar with the Korean alphabet uh, on the printing floor accidentally put the plate in upside down. And so um, what ended up happening was we had to scramble and basically just contact every single person on the email list who had bought one of those shirts and basically been like, hey, just to give you a heads up, there was a printing error with the text on your shirt. It is upside down. We um, are going to send you a free replacement uh, of this shirt with the correct alignment. Which they did, which was awesome. Another reason that I, I've really been enjoying working with SCP is if they fuck something up, they will find a way to fix it. Um, so that is something that, like, is very important, the customer service side of things. So that was a really big thing that, like, helped solidify a lot of my confidence in what they do. Um, but, yeah, that, that was... Now, those of you with that shirt, yeah, it is the limited edition, the most exclusive piece of Gerbigli merchandise you could possibly own because it was only one single print of it. Uh, literally saying most of my money has gone towards Brian as of late. Wait, what? What are you talking about? I'm glad you have my self-control in your possession because if you put a $70 hoodie, I wouldn't even fucking hesitate. Don't do that. That's almost, that's so much money for a hoodie. For what? For, for a design? Don't do that. <laughs> Oh, God. No, I will never, ever release a $70 hoodie. Uh, if I can keep it around, like, the $40 range, that's, like, fairly average for, like, a piece of merch. Um, that's, like, an okay price. I've, I've spent 40 bucks on, like, my friend's hoodies before and stuff like that. That's, like, pretty standard for merch uh, that's, like, custom made. So, <laughs> never, I'm never going to do the $70 one. Um, but, yeah, they were like, yeah, if we want to do, like, the embroidery, like, on the hem or whatever, it's going to be, like, 70 bucks. And I was like, I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that to people. Cherish both of those shirts so much. I'm so glad that you like them, Chronic. Right, I paid $90 for a Billie Eilish hoodie. You underestimate how mentally ill I am. I guess I do, but, like, I'm not going to enable it here, if that makes sense. I mean, feel free to spend 90 bucks on the merch store, but at least you're getting multiple items then if you do that. I feel like I spent something like that on an Uno, an Uno Anus hoodie. What? Were they that much? I won't lie. Okay, nepotism time. Nepotism uh, confession. Because I'm friends with Mark and Ethan, I got like 99% of my Unis Honest uh, merch for free. So every time you see me wearing a Camp Unis Honest t-shirt, my streamer is not an enabler. Um, <laughs> spent $70 for hoodies at concerts. It's fine. No, 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 no. It's not going to happen that way. I'm going to find a way that, like, if if we can even make that design option work, it's still going to be as affordable and close to cost to produce as possible. That is my my promise. That's the way I've always done merch. It's why back when I used Spreadshirt back in the day, those Spreadshirt t-shirts were, like, 20 bucks, and that was it. because Or, like, less than that. They were, like, 15 bucks is because the website would not let me set the price lower than that. That was the lowest you could physically go on Spreadshirt, and I made sure that it was always the lowest because, again, my my objective when I'm selling merch is, yeah, of course I want the, it to do well and I get a little bit of kickback, which is really nice. That's just business. But also, I don't want people to go broke buying things if they want to just represent the community. That's like... 
them feeling happy and special and having like a cool connection with like something they're wearing that they got from like a you know like an a thing that they're like a part of like I, that that's the important part is just getting as much of it out to people as possible so that they can feel like hey we're all part of this cool thing together um so yeah <laughs> streamer takes advantage of nepotism canceled i guess listen i to be fair i bought the very first uh like initial drop of unisanis long sleeve um the very first order that is on the scp website was from me because ethan had told me he was like dude we're about we're we're uh, about to go live with this in like 10 minutes and he's like you want to see the website ahead of time and i was like yeah and he sent me a text of it and then i just went on and i i bought a t-shirt or i bought a long sleeve of the unis on it's like original design and then so he sent me a screenshot of it back and he was like yeah that was you that's cool so but then he sent me the rest of it for free him and mark uh, I don't want Brian to go broke from buying things. I want them to go broke from me stealing all of their money. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, listen. Not going to be able to, to steal too much. Shipping uh, to Australia is so damn expensive. One downside of living here, I guess. Or I swear to God. Yeah, honestly, I mean, you're literally the other side of the world. I'm sorry. I wish that because uh, SCP is a U.S.-based company, they're in Chicago. Um, yeah, that is one thing that's, like, really rough is the international shipping is, like, brutal. And I wish that that was something that I could do anything about. But, yeah. Why do you read people as your name? Did I do that? Because I'm, I'm running on, like, three hours of sleep. <laughs> my brain, my brain, like, turned off for a full, like, I probably, what probably happened is there was something with my name in it that scrolled by and I just, ma like, fucking monster mashed the two sentences together. <laughs> Either that or I'm just so narcissistic that, like, I was like, oh, people? You mean me? What other people? I'm I'm my own world, and I'm the only world that should matter, you know? The idea of someone stealing my wallet is so funny to me. I hope they enjoy my Costco card, expired BJ's cards, and $2.47 in my bank account. Stop spending money on Billy Eilish hoodies, and then maybe you'll have more, huh? You and, you and your avocado toasts, and all you have to do is these... Four simple rules. Step one, be a trust fund kid, and you can afford a business and a home by the age of 27. <laughs> These are my favorite articles because they're just fucking stupid. We're just like, oh, if millennials just stop buying avocado toast. You could save $100,000 in a year. And it's like, yeah, if my dad is fucking like Bill Gates or something, like, what are you talking about? So stupid. Anyway, chat. It is uh, almost an hour into the stream, and I haven't even asked your good news because I wanted to talk about my own merch. By the way, please use the merch command. The more merch that you buy. Hello. Hello, am I back? I hope it's back. It actually wasn't the internet this time, chat. It wasn't the internet. It was um, OBS just randomly crashed. It just randomly said, hey, OBS disconnected, and then it crashed. I don't know why it did that. One merch bot equals one CPR for stream. Yes. It's like uh, when when you have to clap for Tinkerbell. You got to clap because you believe. And then that gives like Tinkerbell or Life Force back, you know? One merch bot means that the stream will come back to life. The stream will do better because you bought the merch. OBS does not want to hear the good news. Did you guys get my parasocial joke? I was really trying to milk that one. That one was fun. Whereas, like, I'm not even, I'm not even going to ask if, if you want to buy the merch, chat. Of course you want to buy the merch parasocially. And now that now it's ruined. Because I had to explain the joke. Once you explain the joke, it's not funny anymore. God damn it. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, before we get going with some GeoGuessr, uh, hit me up with some good news. Do you have any good news? I'd like to hear some good news. Make sure that you're uh, celebrating each other. So... Uh, oh, chat, can can you remind people in chat to refresh? Because if there's people who are, like, buffering and stuff, please refresh. So, OBS is parasocial phobic. Unbelievable. Can't even get away with taking advantage of my community these days. Unreal. Refresh if stream isn't back for you. Yes, thank you. OBS said no to parasocial. OBS actually protecting <laughs> protecting audiences from their, their streamers. <laughs> Non-toxic behavior from OBS. <laughs> I 
Good news, Mochi is ugly. <laughs> Good news, Mochi is uglier than usual today. Okay. Um. <laughs> I like it. It's cute. It's wonderful. Um, Mochi is, is so adorably ugly. Some good news. Finally, I got hired for a video editing gig. Let's go, dude. Just a, a one-time thing for now, but I'll have something to show other than just my own stuff. Hell yeah. I mean, that's how you like build up a portfolio in this space. That's so cool. So glad that you were given the opportunity. I had to close the app to get back. Well, welcome back. I know I just made a joke about having only $2, but I did actually just get my state tax return today. I had an extension. I almost got $300 back. Nice. That's very good. That should be really nice. Uh, especially if you're going on a trip or doing something like a con. That's awesome. That's great. My good news, after going to the hospital last Saturday, my mom came home Monday and is doing really well. We made plans for Saturday so I can help her with shopping and still do D&D &D in the afternoon. That's so wonderful that you're still able to, you know, take a break for yourself because obviously that's so stressful. Um, glad to hear that uh, that mom's is, is back home and uh, is doing a lot better. He's so foul. Mochi. Okay, foul is taking it too far. All right, Mochi. I can say Mochi is cute, ugly for sure. I'll agree with. I'll meet you on that one, Shira. But he's not foul. He's a he's a he's a boy. He's a cutie boy. You know. <laughs> uh, my my good news is I started using my Nintendo DS Lite again, and it still had some battery after being in my drawer for years without a charge. Hell yeah. They don't make them like they used to. What's up, Phoenix? Hello. Nasty, vile, heinous creature. Oh, my God. He has so much fragile masculinity. <laughs> well, I mean, that's up to you to, to provide a safe space for him to explore, you know, ways to de-brainwash uh, de himself of that, you know? I got to see Rocky Horror live today. Damn, that's so fun. The Riff Raff and uh, Magenta were the same ones I saw three years ago, and they were so friendly, and their vibes were off the chart. It's such a great feeling to be doing the time warp again. Hell yeah, that's so fun. That that is one of my favorite things about this time of the year is old classics like that. That's very very fun. I finally decided to suck it up and go to urgent care for my asthma and got the uh, prednisone. I needed to help open my lungs up. Oh my god, I'm glad that you're taking care of yourself. Your health is more important than pretty much anything else because it's literally what keeps you alive. So please 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 keep prioritizing that. One of my old managers, who is one of my best friends, got married. He invited me to the ceremony next year. Also offered me a job once I get cleared to go back to work. Hell yeah, that's dope. Gerbigui merch, here I come. Once I have that good money coming back in, also 34 weeks until uh, we have a brand new community member. Nice, that's that's crazy that it's been that's that close. That is so wild. Uh, good news, I got a referral to a neurologist who specializes in my conditions. And they said they didn't have any appointments for three months, but I got a call yesterday. I was able to schedule an appointment for December 1st. That's so wonderful. I'm glad that something opened up. I mean, like, yeah, cancellations and shit. Those happen all the time. We love bestie prednisone. <laughs> yeah, big uh, big prednisone stand here. Um, my uh, my headcanon is that it's actually a bunch of nano machines that uh, do a lot of cool stuff inside of your blood, but are actually like little spider robots that like fix things with their eight little arms. You know, <laughs> people have head cannons for medicines that actually be funny. I guess that's, <laughs> I guess that's just people who don't understand science do that all the time, right? Everyone has some awesome good news. I'm so happy for y'all. Hell yeah, that's what we do good news for. You know, it's very very fun to be able to be like, hey, we want to congratulate each other. We want to encourage each other. We want to like recognize each other's efforts that have resulted in like positive things. Um, sometimes people are just going through a rough bit and then they, you know, see the silver lining. That's always a nice reminder as well. And it should be a nice reminder that good news can happen whenever and it can take the form of whatever. So hopefully, you know, those of you who don't have good news tonight, you're able to, uh, you know, see, see that it's possible for you. And whenever you have it, we're all going to celebrate you and be happy for you. Isn't that how Osmosis Jones happened? That's so true though. Uh, more good news, Pagan and I have decided that we'll be getting married on our 10-year anniversary, so we'll be buying a one-way ticket to visit her next winter. Now for the year of saving massive funds. Oh my god, Chronic, stop buying merch then. Um, that's wonderful! Congrats to both of you! That is so, so wonderful! Can we get some congrats to Chronic for that? And Pagan? Holy shit, that's so lovely. My penicillin head cannon is it's just a bunch of penis-shaped mushrooms that giggle every time someone makes the penicillin joke. 
And that's some, it, laughter's the best medicine. Oh my god, it fits in. That that heals everything. Medical head cannons are literally just the miasma theory before scientists discovered germs. <laughs> I mean, yeah. There's been various moments that different groups of people have literally just made up medical head cannon. <laughs> yeah, look at all the congrats flying in. Love seeing that. Love seeing the support here. You're all so lovely to each other. Thank you so, so much. Even though our stream got cut in half by OBS, of all things. If we're able to live stream the courthouse ceremony, I will be dropping it in the Discord for y'all to join. Oh my god, that's so cute. Please do. Please, please, please. Self-promo the shit out of that. Naray, what the heck? Thank you so much for a gifted sub to Puppin' Blood. Puppin' Blood, enjoy the emotes and the sub badge. Make sure that you're saying thanks to Naray. Thank you to both of you for being parts of this community. That's really, really nice. What's up, Duke of Spook? Hello, hi, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're gonna get going with some GeoGuessr. I think that'll be good. I'm gonna do a little bit of GeoGuessr because I don't want to stream too late, and I know me, and you know me, and I do not have the self-control or awareness um, to log off the internet if I'm, you know, just <laughs> talking for the next, like, hour without doing the thing. I won't just go, okay, sorry, I know that I said that I wanted to do GeoGuessr. We're ending the stream here. I won't be able to do that. I'm going to be, I'll be like, oh, I don't want to, like, you know, skimp out on stuff that I said I was going to do. I'm going to snuggle in some sweatpants. Oh, my God, the sweatpants are so good. Enjoy. Tennessee game. Yeah, Tennessee game's back. Currently in an art and medicine class, and we just keep learning about doctors who just decided something was true for no reason. <laughs> That's so much of it out there. It's just so wild. It's so funny. All medicine starts with fan fiction, is what it is. <laughs> oh god. All right. Um, I I don't remember where the hell do I put my face cam for this fucking game. I do not remember. I think I think it's like over here, maybe. No, that's not where it goes. Might go. I, what 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 am I doing? I gotta actually capture the window. Oh, I know how to stream. It's just one of my main jobs. Yes, the Goosey. The Goosey Gustav. So amazing. The Goosey Gustav. Uh, just Bridget. Thank you so much, Bridget, for the uh, the 45 bits. It's really nice of you. Why is my web browser crashing? What happened? He only likes her because she's Nothing old. is going she's right tonight. Like Nothing is going right tonight. Give me a goddamn second. Hair. Amethyst Viking, thank you so much for the 27 months doing a going away party for your hair. Uh, I mean, maybe in your heart, if that is something that deeply affects you. But otherwise, it's a celebration. I mean, I guess a party is a celebration, so that makes sense. Yeah, sure, we can call it that. That's fine. This week happened. It sure did. It was fucking weird for a lot of people. It was such a weird week. Such a strange week. I don't know. I think my face. I think my face cam goes here. Is that? That's good. Probably. I don't care. Whatever. We'll figure it out together, chat. We'll always have Brian's hair in the uh, the Umer emote. That's true. New emote, by the way. If you haven't seen it, new Gerb Umer emote. It's not Gerb Boomer because it's Gerb Boomer. You know, you get it, Gerb Umer. So it's it's pretty good. Anytime I'm being old on stream, hit me with that. If I'm talking about old shit, if I'm being ornery about something like kids on my my yard, you know. Thank you so much, Bridget, for the 50 bits. Streamer struggles to use OBS <laughs> daily. This program is. I mean, it's a great program. It's free. It just I'm just I'm brain dead. Gerb Umer for that Gerb humor. You know it. Haha, -ha, old. <laughs> Why did you write that out? You have Gerboomer right there. God, are you old? You're using words when emotes exist? God, what a boomer. Making Naray feeling old? Use emo. <laughs> OBS is having an IBS moment. It sure was. All right, we're going to do the world because I ain't no coward. Here we go. Here we go, chat. Remember, uh, rules of engagement are... Um, let me try to figure it out as much as I can. If you know the answer, if you want to be a Google Andy, then uh, please keep it to yourself. You're free to Google if you see like a street sign or something. Feel free to do that. Just don't share it with chat so that it doesn't ruin it for me or other people here in the community. It's literally Tennessee. It might be. That's the worst part of this. 
We have had Tennessee before. When I was like, I don't know where the fuck we are. I'm just going to guess Tennessee. And it, it ended up with us in, in Tennessee, which was amazing. Um, the street is every street. That's so true, though. Uh, so you can Google Andy if you want. But if you want to just, like, play around and guess alongside, that's fine. If I, like, miss a context thing and you're like, Brian, it said Denmark right there. Then, like, I mean, don't do not do that, please, because that's, that's sort of the same thing. But you can always be like, <laughs> Brian missed his sign, you know? My top three instincts are North Dakota, Canada, and Russia. Mine is, like, almost always Russia in this game. Or just somewhere in, like, Eastern Europe. Because there are so many stretches that look exactly like this. I should probably go a direction I can, like, read more of the signs, I think. We can go this way. This is a visual representation of this week. It kind of is. It's like nothing really wrong is going on, but there's just weirdo liminal, like, energy out there. Bumfuck nowhere looks like, <laughs> looks the same fucking everywhere. Yeah, it doesn't matter what country you're in, what state, whatever. Being in the middle of, like, armpit nowheresville is always the same. There's places in New York that look like this, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, my favorite video recently is What's-His-Face from, I think, Game Changer playing GeoGuessr and being like, this is absolutely 100% frog, and as he pans over to welcome to New Jersey sign. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. What would we Google here? Um, something fun. <laughs> I don't know. So this car got, okay. So for a second back there, I was like, the car was on the left side, but I guess they just got impatient and went around the Google truck. They were like, this guy's slow as fuck. So they went around the Google truck. So it we're, it's a country where we drive on the right side, which would also make sense. I probably didn't even need to see the car because they literally have the signs on the right side. This is this is where you would read them. If it was a left side driving, they'd be over this way facing. I'm goddamn I'm an idiot. <laughs> the place ever. Yeah, the person that passed the Google car, really funny, honestly. Gonna Google the type of grass on the side of the road. Listen, we've had people come in here and been like, I've seen this map before. This is actually Poland. And I've had to be like, what? Why would you come in and just ruin someone's fun, you fucking weirdo? <laughs> All right, we got meters. We got the metric system, not the imperialistic system. We got the, the, the metrics, right? Was it a llama? It looks like a llama. It does. Oh, yeah. Chat. Look at what I said. Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe. We got Russian. A llama? He's supposed to be dead. I called it. I called it. What is it supposed to be? I don't know what it's supposed to be. I called it. I told you it's going to be Russian. That's always my gut instinct. Looks more like Tennessean. <laughs> That's just how they communicate over there. Is they use the Russian alphabet. Oh my god. Goryanev or something? I Is that a place? I can't read Russian. I cannot. I just don't know. Wingdings. Yeah, that sounds more Tennessee. No, actually, Wingdings is the language of Ohio. Nothing, nothing that makes sense exists in Ohio. Okay, these are not landmarks that I will recognize. Hey, sir! And or... However you would like to be called. Uh... Look at the fucking fit. All right? This is... We got the skinny jeans. We got the loafers. The side of the road in the middle of nowhere. I don't know where you're walking from or to, buddy. A bite slip. We got the crisscross puff jacket going on. It's kind of kind of cool. This is Tennessee, Russia. The Ohio We've made that joke. This is what I'm talking about. We always have rerun jokes here. We made that joke like a, a year ago. Tennessee, Russia. Or Pop... No, it was Pop-Tart, Russia. But still, the same thing, right? They have the drip, but at what cost? Living in Russia, apparently. All right. But here's the thing. Okay, so here's the thing. Chat, we got into this argument a year ago. And I'm going to bring this up again because I want you all to feel existential pain. Because some of you think you're smart, and you're you're not. Um, <laughs> we could easily just go, you know, I'll drop it like a, a preliminary pin here in Russia, okay? We all can agree Russian is being spoken. 
Why do I not know where Russia is? <laughs> Here's the thing. Russia, obviously, birthplace of the Russian language, spoken here. But there are parts of northern Mongolia that speak Russia. There are parts of Kazakhstan that speak Russia. Uzbekistan, sometimes it's people there. Kyrgyzstan, they speak a little bit of Russian in there. There are there's people here in Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, the Ukraine, that speak some Russian. Just because we saw the Russian signs, it means nothing. Except maybe it's in this gigantic country. So now you know. There's your edutainment for the night. Cyrillic is used for lots of languages that aren't Russian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just that alphabet in general. Yeah. Exactly. It was a written family. Thank you. That's the way that you can, yeah, can describe it. So we might be up Shit's Creek without a paddle here. Of course this truck passes that sign at that moment. There it is. Again. That word. Whatever that is. This is not going to be of any help. Dude. This is like when Banthony was trying to do the like 100 guesses correct in a row. Uh, what, the, can you imagine the anxiety? If I was like, if I get this wrong, then I have to fucking start over. Like that, that, God, why did he do that to himself? What a psychopath. Um, <laughs> all right. We have to get moving down this road because this is a whole lot of absolutely ass crack nothing. Could it be Greece? Um, no, nah, I mean, that's not the written language there. They have their own alphabet. A Grecan, Greco alphabet. Grecian. That's the word, right? Is it Greco or Grecian? Thinking it's Bolivia? Yeah, not enough mountains for Greece. Also a good point. Grecian, thank you. Bethany was out there to attempt and also complete that challenge. And he did it! And good God, he did it. Like, what a lad. What an absolute lad moment. All right, we are on the highway to nowhere. Holy shit, chat. This was the first one we got. I'm going to get, like, two points for this one. What's this? This is, uh, boobs. Someone laying down's boobs. Like, we're, we have, like, an overhead view of them or something. And it's, it, there's 10,000 meters to get to the boobs. All right, I'm going to, you know what, chat? We're going to return to the start. And I'm going to go the other direction. Going into traffic. It looks very Antarctican. <laughs> Can you imagine, though? I mean, has it ever put anyone there? It has to have, right? Go towards the boobs? That's what I'm doing. Boobs are always the right answer for anything. Zeppelin, what's up? Hello. Hair looking good? Thank you. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you. It's giving Ohio... <laughs> Yeah, who's to say that they don't have some Cyrillic in Ohio? Somewhere in the ancient dark texts of of Ohio. Whatever spawned that state. Sad is I'm half Greek and I don't even know my culture enough to know what the alphabet in Greece is called. I actually don't know. It, 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 has, it has to have an official name, right? The Greek alphabet? I don't know personally. Mountains are the boobs of the earth. They really are. They really, really are. Which in... You know, indicates that the valleys between them are the, the cleavage of the earth, of Mother Nature herself. Mother Nature's OnlyFans just dropped. And there you got it. You get to see it for free all the time. Boobs equal everything. Oh, yeah? What about trees? Are you telling me trees that provide oxygen to the world are made out of boobs? Incredible. Again, we're, we're headcanoning science tonight. Uh, it's clearly Ohio because if you scroll a little bit and zoom in on the side of the road, you <laughs> Jordan's there. I'm like, why are you here? And then somehow he starts talking on the Google Earth map, and he's like, oh, hey, what's up? Glasslands is actually doing a Eastern European tour right now. They're growing out some boobs. <laughs> Mommy nature milkies? God, that's the worst thing that you might have ever typed in this chat, which is saying a lot. <laughs> I live in the booba of the west side. You do. How does it feel? 
I wish I could <laughs> breathe air from Booba. <laughs> Alright, I have to look for whatever this is. It looks like... Kenikton. Where is this going to be? Here's it. Watch, watch, chat. This will prove my point, too. We zoom in, right? Zooming in on the map. Oh, wait. This is not where my face cam should be. Because now I'm blocking the damn thing. Is that better? That's better. Now you can see the map in full. All right. Phoetian letters is what it's called. That's so cool. All right. You'll see here we have Cyrillic alphabet on all these places. If we, like, zoom in here in, into Kazakhstan, it, it's the same thing. So it's literally, it's this is going to be impossible. This is finding a needle in a needle stack. This is going to be so hard. Um, it's just, like, all open field also. So, like, it's going to probably be around where I put this shit. But it's just like, and if I zoom in more, there's even smaller town. Like, how, how do you do this? Less air up here in the booba. <laughs> I wish I could remember how to pronounce that. I don't even know how to say it at all, so. <laughs> North Carolina. That would be actually so funny if there was just a random American town that <laughs> used the Cyrillic alphabet on its street signs and town name. That would be amazing, actually. Uh, Gerbucation for the day. Um... We like to call it educate, edutainment here because it's entertaining and it's education. And I don't want to take all credit for that. You know, I didn't invent edu edutainment. I just perfected it, really. All right. Can, 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 something. Candy apples, baby. It's Halloween time. Um, chat, I'm, I'm fucked on this one. We're getting 12 points. That's my guess. That might even be a generous guess. <laughs> Where could this be? There's a San Antonio neighborhood that's named after Game of Thrones references. That's actually hilarious. I had no idea that existed. That's, that's amazing amounts of fandom. It can be like... That would be the one moment where I would be like, all right, maybe a little bit of gatekeeping's okay. Because if you were like in a... Uh, Game of Thrones fandom off with someone, and they're like, yeah, well, I actually have some of the original props from Season 2, uh, and they're signed by the entire cast, and uh, I actually have, you know, I'm Snapchat friends with um, with Jon Snow. Uh, you know, that, that'd be, that'd be kind of wild, but then someone could be like, yeah, I, I live in the town that is named only after Game of Thrones references, because we're insane. <laughs> Candy Mountain, Charlie. Oh my God, where's the Candy Mountain here? I don't know. I, I I think I I think I just have to throw the dart at the dartboard with my eyes closed and hope. I'm gonna say it's over. I'm gonna say it's over. I'm gonna say it's here. I'm gonna say it's here, chat. This this seems good. It seems like it could be a thing. You just gatekeep me? Yes, I did. Uh, there's a sewage plant in Connecticut named after John Oliver. Yes, that John Oliver. I love that. I once drove through an area that had roads named after the Wizard of Oz. That See, I that one makes so much sense to me because that's like an old cultural reference. It's been around for decades and is still like culturally relevant. And like people know what you're talking about when you bring it up. But like Game of Thrones is like relatively new, you know? Edutainment, I'm so high up, my kids' red blood cells are a different shape to help absorb more oxygen. This happens with people who live in higher elevations. We're over 6,000 above sea level. That is so wild how, like, genetics and stuff work and, like, environments, like, affect that stuff. It's just really wild. The way you wrote that was really funny, but I, I love the fact in it. Very interesting. Okay, for a country that's, like, 8,000 million miles long, that was not the worst guess in the world, chat. It is in Russia. It's right on the... The actual location was, like, on the tip of the border. 808 miles away, which is a shit ton, but in a country this long? I could have guessed over here and been, like, 4,000 miles away. So, I got two 2,000 points for that? That's really not that bad. I Like, that's not a bad guess. I'll take it. Not, not wonderful. 
Oh, I should have hit thumbs down on did I enjoy that location because I don't. West Hartford, someone here knows where that is. That sounds like a Connecticut town. I'm going to just say that much. Yeah, we're in America. Xfinity building. A giant monopoly. Definitely in America. Um, cats Limited. What does that mean? It's limited only to cats. No other pets. If your dog is, is barfing because it ate a, a Snickers bar, we will not take you. It's only for cats. And it's a limited amount of cats at that. Only certain cats. House of Tobacco. Hey, speaking of uh, Game of Thrones, this is the sequel to House of the Dragon. House of Tobacco. All I'm going to say is I've been here. <laughs> Wait, really? I told you was in Kentucky. should have <laughs> listened to me the first time. Kentucky, Eastern Europe. There is a town like that in Connecticut. Is, am I like being insane? Is West Hartford like a is like Hartford like is like a major hub in on like the East Coast, right? Am I just like fucking nuts and I'm not? I'm, I'm just stupid. Is that what it is? Hartford is the to city in Connecticut. Look, at, okay, so I'm right. That is the only one I fly into because the next closest airport is the Bo is Boston, like two hours away. How did I know that? Is it, it it's like well known then? Am I just am I like stating common knowledge like I'm smart but I'm actually stupid? Is that what's happening? <laughs> like is that why are the cats limited? Yeah, we shouldn't be limiting cats. Life's too short to limit cats. Let them do what they want. You're a hundred percent correct. Am I just a fucking moron? <laughs> Oh, that's actually so funny. I'm like, yeah, I think I, that sounds like it's familiar. It sounds like it's in Connecticut. It's literally in Connecticut. It's right here. <laughs> Mars, thank you for the 11 months. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you so, so much. Thank you very, very much. Hartford's the capital of Connecticut. Do not quiz me on that. I will not know. It's the capital. I'm a fucking moron. I don't remember the capitals. I can do the 50 nifty United States. That's about all I remember from geography. Thank you, Mars, for 11 months. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> oh, man, man, that sounds familiar. Yeah, it, because it is. It's two miles away from the destination. I almost got max points. Uh, that's not a Gerb Umer moment. I could be any age and be an idiot. That's not old brain catching up to me. That's me just being stupid. Losing my mind. Oh my god. We were like four streets over from where we started. That was actually pretty good for me. <laughs> Gerb Leaf moment? No, it wasn't. I don't stream high. I feel like that would be too much anxiety. This is such a beautiful moment. Thank you so much for this. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know my cities. Any, I don't know major cities anywhere outside of New York, pretty much. And states I've actually, like, hung out in. Like, I've been to Connecticut, but I didn't pay attention to anything that happened there. I, I, I like, know a little bit about, like, Washington State. I know a bit about New Jersey. I know a lot about New York. I know a lot about Pennsylvania because I actually lived in Pennsylvania. I know a lot about Florida because I lived in Florida. <laughs> They're giving European mountains. Oh, like the Shire. Oh my god, that's actually beautiful. Chat, we found a screenshot of the night. Look at that. That's that's gorgeous, actually. Please stop spreading false information that Washington State is real. Wait, why why what wait? I thought that the whole thing was like Ohio isn't real, and that was like the joke. Why why are we doing Washington State now? Like a place that is so much better than than Ohio. <laughs> What's a Washington? Stop gaslighting me, chat. Had a weird life realization by seeing it on your screen that on English maps, Quebec is not Quebec. It's Quebec City. I'm shook if my life is a lie. Um, Yeah, I mean, the way that we differentiate, at least here in uh, America, in Amer US, away, is we have, like, the... Uh, we have, like, Quebec, and then Quebec City is is separate. But, yeah, no one calls it just Quebec. Quebec is, like, that contains, like, Mon Montreal and all those places as well. So, which, like, obviously it does that in everywhere. Like, that's what they're called, but, like, 
like yeah we zoomed out it's just that's the major thing and then here's your province so stop gas letting everyone into thinking america is real we know you're wrong oh my god unbelievable like you can't flip that on us because aren't, aren't you from like the, you're from oceana where people like constantly say like that's not real right proximo centauri thank you so much for hanging out i'm glad that you enjoyed the vibes Washington was a man. Ohio is a Japanese greeting. <laughs> Australia is a theme park concept. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's. <laughs> now you're just confusing me. Oh, my God. All right. We're going to go down this treacherous mountain road. This reminds me of some of the roads. Um, So some of you might have remembered this from when Morgan and I went on vacation. We went to the island of St. Martin. Um, or Martin, depending on how you want to say it. It's half owned by Dutch uh, people, and it's half owned by French people. Um, and it's just basically a giant tourist island. Uh, it has a weird past. Um, but we went there for vacation, and it was really, really nice. And it's really small. It's it's in here somewhere. I will find it, I promise. But it had a bunch of mountains, and it had like roads that were like this small. And I, I drove on them. I rode around the entire island. It was really cool. It was really, really neat. But it was scary. Because there's no speed limits there. There's no traffic laws. So when you get to, like, a an intersection, um, there's not, like... There's not, like, a right-of-way. Like, people just decide that on the fly. On roads like this narrow. That, that fit, like, one and a half cars. So, um, that was fun. That was an exciting time. Where is it? Am I crazy? I thought it was in this line of islands, because there's Trinidad. It's so tiny. That's probably part of it. Anyway, it's around here somewhere. It's like in this area. It's kind of cool. St. Vincent and the Grenadines sounds like a cover band. <laughs> I could get behind that. They probably play like pretentious indie rock, right? Um, I can't make out what that says. Anyone want to enhance the image and clean it up? I bet it was scary. It was... I was white-knuckling the steering wheel on the rental car, where it's like, I I don't want to, like, crash this. I don't want something, like, bad to happen, because, like, I'm not used to these roads. Uh, and there were no shoulders on the roads. It literally would be, like, a drop-off like this, where, like, if you accidentally drive too far over, you, you just are going to fall off into, like, a fucking valley or something. We have highly inflammable... Petroleum products. Okay, well, that means nothing. That's just, like, what's here. Okay. That doesn't mean that that business has its main operation wherever we are. Someone clipped just the part where Brian says, I can't make out. I lost my tongue in the war. I no longer can make out. It's terrible. It's in English, yeah. I mean... So, <laughs> this isn't Europe? Who's to say that it's not English um, colonized some other place? I feel like the the plant life is too nice for Europe. But there's like parts there's parts of Europe that are like tropical. People forget that shit all the time. That's like that are like set up for like tourists and stuff. There's a band I saw in Chicago once called Bev Rage and the Drinks, and their lead singer Beverly Rage is a beautiful drag queen. Uh, her guitar has a sticker that says heterosexuality is a sin on it. Oh my god. The energy. Maybe Portugal vibes. It does kind of have a little bit of a Portugal feel to it. I feel like it might be like a South American sort of situation. But I could be totally wrong because I normally am. Hey, Gerb Umer Swaggy. Oh my god. Cool grandpa hours. You're saying that Europe doesn't take care of their houseplants? Does Europe even know what a houseplant is? Real question. <gasps> Look at this young lad. Okay, this has got to be like South America, right? I feel like. Because this is uh, this is like a, a bull. Look at this young boy. Mountains are gorgeous, right? Look at those views. It's so incredible there's, like, a game that, like, just allows you to tap into Google Maps and do this. It's, like, really cool. I love it. Re the future is now. Long Boomer? Oh, my God. 
<laughs> we found the real big chungus. <laughs> All right. I don't. I. I feel like uh, I have not not enough information to go by yet, but I am. I'm feeling somewhere here, not too far south, because that's where it gets like more tropical, right? But like, I could see this being. I, like, I, are there? There's like some mountain ranges here in like Colombia, and stuff. Right? I mean, I could be like insane. Argentina, uh, Argentina. Why did I say Argentina? Argentina and uh, Chile both have wild cattle and the last of the cowboys. Wild. I actually didn't know that. That's wild. I mean, you're you're gonna have to take that up with Texas because a lot of the people there are like treat being a cowboy like it's a fucking genetic personality trait. Vote in Canada, Alaska. Those look like glacier carved mountains. Ooh, okay, that's also a good point. You know. Tropical is northern. South is temperate like Europe. Oh! So, so like, maybe, like... So, like, maybe Argentina? Like, area? This is, like, a not super mountainous, though. Like, this is more mountainous here. Which I guess is, like, yeah, northern... North... Northwest-ish? I could get behind some of that. We'll look. We'll keep looking. Trees look like they come from somewhere far north, and it's so green, too. Yeah, could be. Wait, one of the locals. Shirtless, just vibing, not a care in the world. Love that for them. Drink up, everyone. <laughs> this is, this, this all screams like, like the, even with the English. Like, this screams, like, more, like, yeah. Like, this area. So. Why is his leg up that high? He's got amazing flexibility. What, are you jealous? He's got the power stance down. It's the wide stance. I think that, I, you know what? I, I say, good on that fellow. Comfort. <laughs> what the fuck was that text across the front of the bus? I didn't see that. I saw the English on the side. We can go back. We can find them. They can be. Wait. Oh, they're up there. Here we are. Hello. Oh. Hey. Wait. There's like a bunch of flags down here. These look like South American flags. Something transport. This is <laughs> this is blurred out. What do you mean the text on the? Is it censored in the blue bar? This stuff? It just says, like, fuck ass. And Google is like, ah, oh, we can't have that. Yeah, I don't know what the hell. What is that? What is that? Like, at a glance, I was like, that looks like Arabic, but it's definitely not. Right? Unless this is, like... No, it's not. It's definitely not. What the fuck is that? This looks like every 2000s, like, new metal band logo. Like, 2006, like, a new metal band would just pop up out of, like, someone's ash cheek. And they'd be like, yo, what's up? We're called, like, Spinal Stain. And we have a song about, like, drinking beers and, like, hitting women. And, but we have a, a female lead vocalist please stan our music and then they'd have a logo that is like this font out of someone's huh i mean most new metal it, i sorry if you had to learn this way most new metal bands are actually born from ash cheeks their cheeks uh i wish my uh, city's transport was it's called fuck ass <laughs> oh my god that's incredible can you see the back side of the bus i can't it's too fast. My human eyes cannot follow that type of speed and energy. They got nothing. They said, you know what? We know GeoGuessr is going to be really trying here. So we are intentionally not going to put a logo on the back of our bus. We're going to say, fuck those GeoGuessr players. Bridget, get, uh, take care. Thank you so much for hanging out. Have a wonderful day. 
Born from a butt cheek the way that Alien was born out of John Hurt in Alien. <laughs> the new metal band's name is Fetus on Fire while I run through rocks drowning in blood. Yeah. <laughs> That's how my music spawns, except it's from the front. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, wait, what's that? Wait, 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 wait. Something was in the road. Oh, I thought that was a cat at first, just like lounging in the road. Like from far away. I th doesn't that look like the silhouette of a cat a little bit? I was like, oh, there's a kitty. Oh, that's so cute. And then it was like a, a burst tire piece. It's like someone's tire exploded and they just left that there. Is a bird alive? I don't think it's a bird. Is that a bird? That's not a bird. Is it a bird? That might be a dead bird. You might be right. I thought it was like a, like a tire that had fucking popped and a piece of the rubber is just on the road. That might be a carcass of a bird. <laughs> My favorite band name is still Betty White. Tit fuck. Jesus. Why? What did Betty White do? Leave Betty White alone. Let her rest. I am that bird. What's up, ones? Rest in peace. Ripperoni to that bird. Chat, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know. What? Oh. Hello? Oh, wait. We have another one of these. When driving, don't drink. When drinking, don't drive. What the fuck? I can't see. I can't make out the letters of, like, what country's department that would be. Like, English is, like, an international language, too, that's, like, used in a lot of places still. Outside of America and Europe. So. I feel like it's gotta be, like... I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't fucking know. Guyana is the only English country in South America. I probably said that really fucking incorrectly, and I apologize for that. Okay. Well, that might take us out of South America, then. Well, fuck. Still think it's Nepal? Are there a lot of English speakers in Nepal? I, I actually know nothing. It wouldn't, isn't that like too hot? Or no? Is like this part of, is this part of the world like very cold? I thought that like down here, like once we're like flush almost with like Myanmar and stuff, it starts getting like warm. South Africa? South Africa might have some, some hits there. Because, yeah, again, like, if we're going to look at the latitudes and longitudes, it's there. Could do something like that. New Zealand? I feel like... Ugh, God. New Zealand is very lush. Actually, wait, chat. What's the thing that happens to us every time? I'm going to explain it to you. What happens to us every fucking time we play this, we're like, oh, this has got to be somewhere in South America. This has got to be somewhere, like, off the coast of Africa. And then it always ends up in fucking New Zealand. Always. You know? Like, yeah, South Africa looks like Africa, like the rest of Africa. You're right. Like, New Zealand is super green. We almost always end up in New Zealand and go, oh my god, I can't believe that was fucking New Zealand. Not lush enough for New Zealand? What if this is a secret road you've never seen, though? You know? Like, what? I wish that there was, like, a town... I hate these ones that are, like, in the middle of nowhere. Because these, these ones are hard. Which, it's like, I want a little bit of a challenge, but I, I'm stupid. So I need, like, you know, the automatic help from, from the game. Wait. Blow horn. <laughs> that doesn't help at all! What do you mean, blow horn? You blow! <laughs> what the fuck does that mean ain't no way this is in the Appalachians absolutely not no 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 no, no. I don't think so I'm not feeling that one no way I literally, I when when I was in St. Martin, I saw 
hills like this, mountains like this, I saw um, these barrier, this exact style barrier on the side of the road. This is all they had. Or you fell into like holes like that on the side of the road. When, while we were there, we we saw a like mini landslide where a bunch of huge rocks fell off of one of these hills and just blocked the fucking road. And unlike, you know, here where we're used to like a, a road crew coming and like roping it off and putting up cones and stuff like that. Um, they just left it there. Like the entire time we were there, like no one did anything. They put a single plastic road cone in front of it. So I'm, I'm still feeling... I don't know though, because like, is this fucking... No, that's exposed rock. I was going to say, is that snow? Because I'll shit and piss if that was snow. Wait, we're going back to where we started. Shit. All right, let me go. Let me go down the mountain. Chat. We try to go up. We try to go. We try to go up. Let's go down a little bit. We can do this. And by we, I mean I can do this. I have the power of the mouse clicks and the observational skills of a drunk 12 year old. I'm clicking down here. No, it won't let me just skip ahead. Why? You bastards. We can do it parasocially. Maybe British Columbia and Canada, but I don't know a lot about uh, BC mountain roads having water around them. Yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not feeling that one. You know? I'm not feeling that one. Like, all this inlaid stone. This is exactly what I, I saw in, in St. Martin when I was there. Wait! Someone in a cowboy hat! Okay. Okay. They're all just watching the Google truck go by, I guess. Hello. You have such a lovely color palette. Beautiful. I don't know if we discussed Canada already. I was playing a Hello Kitty game. Uh, yeah, we that we, I this is not Scream Canada to me in any way, shape, or form. But who knows? I don't know. Maybe this could be somewhere I've never thought of in my life. I want to be a cowboy, baby. Oh my God, Tennessee intensifies. Listen, there was that one time I just said fuck it and clicked Tennessee, and then it was Tennessee. I wish I could read this. This would be so helpful. It looks like the only road sign we've ever seen. Wait, buildings. Come back here. Whoever you are, who's walking as fast as the Google car almost. What does it say? It says... Amazing. Incredible context. Thank you so much, game. A baby! This baby's pointing at a... You! You! The baby sees you, chat. I'm, I'm Here's my thing, chat. Okay, so again. I'm feeling this because of the, the con contextual... I'm feeling this a little bit because of uh, the context of, like, the road work stuff. The, uh, the local population a bit. There's some use of English, which is maybe a little bit confusing, but, like, you just go straight up here. Boop! And, like, people are using English in this belt of islands. And I know that because I literally just vacationed there. Um, I might shoot from the hip on this one. This one this one feels tough. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it, like, right here. A little bit by some, like, water. Because we got the bridge and shit like that. But if I don't lock this in, we, you know me. And I we will, we will be stuck here for five hours. Wait, wait, wait. One more sign, though. Yeah, wait. What the fuck is this text? What is this alphabet? What is this font? I can't make it out. It's so blurry. What is that? Oh, pee pee, wee wee, farts. What is that? I know what you are. Is thinking Philippines? I've also never been there. Isn't the Philippines, like, really tropical, though? Alphabet has downward squiggles. Yeah, it looks like uh, like a yeah South Southeast Asian, kind of like Thai-ish. Yeah, yeah, Indonesian Thai. 
It's a tree. No, it's not. Shut up. <laughs> what is that? It's a tree. No. Leave me alone. Um, Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. God, I, I love that TikTok sound. That is top five favorite TikTok sounds of all time. Looks kind of Arabic. Like a little bit, but it looks more like Thai or something to me. Now, now I'm, it's multiple trees. Can't even see the, you can't even see the forest for the trees. Ty is a good one. Yeah, it's definitely not Arabic, um, but it looks similar just because. Wait, 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 chat, 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 chat. Some context though. In Singapore, which is in this area of the world, like maybe, maybe up north here. Don't they use, like, a lot of English in Singapore? Isn't that, like, a thing? I'm... That's, like, all... That's, like, all English. Is it actually Nepalese? Is it Nepalese? And we're actually in Nepal? Again, like, no, isn't Nepal, like, cold, though? Like, this doesn't look that cold. Everyone's, like, shirtless and shit. Shouldn't be laughing this hard at myself, so BRB grabbing the hat of shame. <laughs> Is this the shape of the country? This is supposed to be a... This is the picture of the country. This is the GeoGuessr answer. We knew they were going to zoom in on this sign. Or GeoGuessr. So, like, even if we're not in Singapore, which I don't think we're in Singapore, because this is, like, way, way not what Singapore looks like. But could some of that English have, like, traveled up the, the little peninsula here? You don't think all of Nepal is always in the snow? Is it? Are there parts of Nepal that are like kind of temperate? Fuck! Now, now I'm all confused. Cause look at this. Look at this text. I can't see this clearly, but it looks very fucking similar, right? Like, that. That is. Like it's right here. Like that's all very. I don't, I don't know about this one. This one, maybe? Myanmar, Laos area could be. Ah, Jesus, God. Why are these hard? Why are these hard? Yeah, Bangladesh. Yeah, Bangladesh. Now we're throwing all the, uh, now we're throwing all these countries into the mix. <laughs> Shit. There's more Persian and Arabic than Thai. I don't. I well, how do you tell? This looks like someone smeared five bugs on the screen. So I don't know what I don't know what anyone. Listen, we all have guesses, but I I don't know if we can say it looks one way more than the other because that was a an image loaded in at 144p. We have to find more. Even Scandinavian countries aren't snowy in summer. There's times a year it looks like this. Yeah, that is very true when you think about it. Like, yeah, parts of like Greenland and stuff like thaw out, right? Wait, is this a fucking shop? Oh. Hold up. That's definitely not Arabic. Still not a great image, but that's... Now, now I'm... Chat, now you're making me think. Does anyone know? Does Nepal use a lot of English? Wait, there's a place called Kuch Bihar. That's amazing. I love it. Alright. Wait, what's that one? That's not a sign. That's just like a decoration. Chat, we got it. Okay, now we have some context clues, but like, god damn it, they're bad. Anyone recognize the architecture? Uh, not really. I mean, doesn't look like super high income or anything. So probably not near like a major, major city. Especially since we don't have like road signs for that. Oh, God. I'm just guessing to guess at this point. I'm stressed. Why are you stressed? You're not playing. Wait. 
Oh, this this is. I can put some credence into the Nepal gas. I can put a little bit. I can put a little bit more credence, but ba Bangladesh too has some of this type of architecture. So. The flag over the door on that building looks like it could belong to the Tibetan monks. Hmm. Well, where would we throw this then? It's like a little bit of water there. It could, maybe it could, maybe it could. So here's my other thought too. So a large portion of India, which obviously borders Nepal, speaks a shit ton of English. So to have like combined language like along like the river here or something like all these roads were like leading through the mountains by the rivers like what if it what if this is it like what if that's just it I think that, that maybe that could be it it could be I might I might have to fire from the hip here It could be. I think that's close. I hope it's close. Cause now I'm now I'm stressing, chat. What the hell? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm shooting it. We're shooting the shot. We're doing it. Holy crap! That's not bad. That is not bad because I have no familiarity with this part of the world at all. I would if you threw a map down with none of these countries labeled and you said label these countries, I I would lose my mind. 473 miles. Listen, that is, when you think about how big this area is, 473 miles is really not bad. South America was a bad guess then. It was pretty bad, but, you know, at the time with the context that we had, not not terrible. It's If anything, one of the things that I love about this game is it really teaches us that a lot of, like, um, ways that humans have gravitated towards like architecture and the layouts of like little towns and villages and um, even just the climates that they live in, like the environments that they live in. We're like so much more alike than we think a lot of the times. Like there, there are places that could you can easily mistake them for different areas. So like, I, I think that's kind of a beautiful thing of like, you know, we're all part of this whole thing. That's kind of good, that's kind of good. Only thing I know about uh, Bhutan is that they have a sweet flag. I don't think I've ever seen it. That's not bad. That's not the worst. 3,000 points. I'll take 3,000 points for the place I had no fucking idea where we could even remotely be. Once we played this in class and me and my friends started trying to guess as far as possible from the actual location. It's like Times Square. You're like, that looks like Australia. That's got to be Melbourne, Australia. The entire continent of that continent looks like it could be maybe 10 miles, 11 miles tops. I can't believe my big brain didn't recognize any of this. <laughs> Wait, their their flag has a dragon on it? Oh my god, are they um, uh, Targaryens from Game of Thrones? <laughs> Bumfuck Nowhere America? Could be. Could be. I love how this is a deep lesson on not relying on civilization and becoming familiar with nature when, like, one round ago, you got placed in front of a bus that said West Hartford Public Schools in bold letters. Yeah, I did, and and what of it? We're in St. Andrew's Trail. Um, Stallion Springs? Equestrian and hiking trail. Okay, we're in, in Murica for sure, I'm guessing. CSO? Are we like in Colorado? No, no, we're, we gotta be, no, it's it's gotta be like somewhere in, it's gotta be like here, right? I guess it could be like Northern, like, or Southern Colorado. Could be Canada, it could be Canada. But that's a very American stop sign. What do the stop signs look in Canada? I was literally just there. I've been to, so I've, my grandparents, I share this a lot, but like my grandparents used to live in Arizona. 
There are so many places in Arizona that look exactly like this. But this feel this feels more like less arid desert horrible heat and more Colorado-y. If I'm gonna be honest. That may be Colorado. I'm feeling Colorado in my bones right now. Wait, Chris, you wait. Okay, if you know this area code, do not spoil this. Do not spoil this. You can Google Andy this if you want, but do not spoil this for me or other people. This is definitely an American zip code, so definitely not Canada. So. Christy, Ra Christy Rabe. I wish you said what area you're serving proudly, because that would be great. I would say Colorado. I'm a giraffe. I don't think it's Colorado. Those don't look like the Rockies. I mean, there's like smaller rock outcroppings outside of the Rockies. But you could be right. This could be like just anywhere in this four. This could be Utah, you know? I need some, I need some, uh, street signs and shit. Wait, what's that? Why can't I go on this little roundabout thing? I want to, that looks educational. What is that? It's going to be like the, the Colorado blue booby is the national bird or the state bird shitting and farting its, its pants. No. Uh, Zarlstonia? Just give me a quick heads up. Please read the tags on the stream. Ain't your stream. It's my stream. You don't get to drive this car. As frantically as you're clicking on your screen right now, guess what? I'm I'm the one driving the car. My friends, uh, my friend is in Utah. Let me text her for a screenshot real quick. <laughs> it's like it's her neighborhood. You're like, holy shit. We're, we see you. We're, we drove by your house. We're waving to it. I just had a fruit fly land on my nose and just, like, hang out there for a second. That was awesome. Um, this is the weirdest fucking little apartment complex out of nowhere. Wait! Wait, 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 wait. The Country Town Homes. Oh, damn. No roundabout for us. None for us, Sag. Happens. Wait! Wait! Is that a state flag? That's a California state flag! Right? Is that the bear on the other side? Whatever. I can't see. I can't see it. It looked like it said C-A-L. But what if it was C-O-L? What if it was just... Cal God damn it, wind, you motherfucker! Can we go down this road? <gasps> we can. Wait, 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 wait! Yes! Yes! Okay. That's fucking something. That is something. This is like Central California, I'm feeling. All right? Because I'm, I'm not... This isn't the SoCal... I mean, it is a little bit of the SoCal vibe. Like, Runyon Canyon looks like this. If you were just like, you know, use a cake cutter to cut out like a square of it and pick it up. Move it. You know? No fucking shot, I actually guessed this right, did you? Holy shit. And the question is, is where where do we plop where do we plop the, the little guy? I'm gonna need more context, but I, I'm gonna just put the pin in Kelly for now. Like we have evergreens. This isn't like up by Big Bear and shit. Fuck. Now, now I want to like get it right, right. You know. All right, we're gonna go to the start. Gonna go back this way instead. More context needed. 
I feel we might not be far off. Ooh. Hold on. Do you remember uh, what the zip was? I won't spoil The area code of the phone number was, I think, 661. But I, don't, I personally don't use those to find the answer. So, again, if you're someone who does, feel free to. But just don't ruin it in the chat for other people. Because some people like to figure it out. Wait, we, we this is the way we went. Piss ass. Whoa. Signs. Wait. Terry Jorgens. Yeah, 661. There we go. My best friend is very insistent that she knows where I am. That's very parasocial of your best friend. Unbelievable. <laughs> I bet. Like, that's the thing. Almost positive I know where this is, too. Speed limit, 25. I feel... Okay, I feel like it's... I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. Because there's so many trees. I I, I feel like it's got to be more up here. Piss ass. Terry. I know, Terry. Constantly with the sales. <gasps> I can't read that text. It's too small. Wait, is that, a, is that the picture of the state? All right, what looks exactly like that in the state? The branches on the map must match up for the treasure to be revealed. That one eye willy buried here in California during the gold rush. Fuck. Wait. What ranch are you? This is where they got them cattle and them horses, though, chat. Let's say as a Californian, there are trees all over the place. It's true. And not just like palm trees like people think. That is very true. We are... Hmm. Chat? Might have to shoot from the hip here, but I when they're in America like this, I like being close enough to get a big point. You know, big points. It's Cowboy Ranch for Cowboys only. A flagpole? Is that a fort or just a very patriotic ranch? I don't... No, honestly. It didn't let us go down that road, which is kind of a bummer. Hmm. You know how there's like farmersonly.com? What's the same concept? Cowboys only. Yeehaw! Get along now, little partner. Hello. Can I go here? I can! Residential! Oh! Burkdale! Burkdale Court. I'm never going to find exactly that. So, we're just going to have to do one of those in the general area guesses. It sucks because, like, every part of California has a, a part that looks kind of like this. SoCal does. North Carolina does. Central Carolina. Whatever. Ah! It seems a little arid, though. So, I kind of want to, like... I kind of want to just throw us here. Or like here. No, I want to, I want to throw us here. I don't know if we're that close to Death Valley, though. I don't know. Ooh. I'm going to put it here in Shoshone. No, then we'd get, no, we'd get signs for this stuff. Here's the thing. This is the problem, chat. We'd get signs for this stuff. We'd be like, it'd be like, Nopa Range Wilderness Area, like, 30 miles that way. No way it's right there. Maybe here in Baker. No, but then we did the same issue. So not near landmarks. Not near too many. So maybe like here? 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm locking in, chat. I'm locking in. I think we did okay. I think we're gonna do fine. Ooh, 63 miles, not bad. 4,669 points, chat. This Bear Valley Springs. What is this? Station Springs was actually on the map. So when it was like Station Spring Stables, that is actually where Station Springs was. Not bad. It's, it's like, seriously, it's just like Central Cali almost. It's like SoCal, like Northern SoCal. So not bad. I See, this is why I'm very happy I've gotten to travel a lot over the years. It's good. It brings my experiences into some sort of purpose. <laughs> We did it! Okay, not bad. Play next round. Last round. Okay. Ellie Bobble Mart. Uh, spaghetti. Gold Star. Cafe Frozen. W. It's Washington. It's Washington State. <laughs> This feels like we're back at where we were before. It feels like we're here again. Like this part of the world. But is it is this? This isn't South America, is it? Indonesia it says so in the sign. Chat, you're literally doing the thing I told you not to do! Just because I miss it. <laughs> oh, it does actually fucking say it right there. But come on now. All right. Now we have to look for Sedia Bumbu. I, I, that might not even be it. Indonesia, Europa, Chinese. Okay. that So that means nothing to me. <laughs> Who the fuck is Washington? I keep hearing the he name. What is it? As, what's up? Like Thank you so, so much for the 26 Please. months. I appreciate that. <laughs> seems semi-big city. Yeah, it seems... We'll have to drive around. We'll throw a pin in Indonesia. We'll look around. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you here, As. I've only been uh, to like four countries total and my school didn't have mandatory geography classes. So I'm absolutely garbage at this game. Could be a cool way to learn. Yeah, it does seem so busy. The, the other issue is I'm not familiar with the names of places in Indonesia. So like, it, even if it has the name somewhere on here, like if this Kuchi... <laughs> Was the was the actual name of the place? I would not be able to locate that on this map at all. I would not know if I had to zoom in more and find it or what the deal was. So hopefully we get better context clues than that. Look at the moped squad goals, right? Hope you're all doing well. Yeah, just vibing. Super late start tonight, so we got a quieter night going. But it's been fun. We've just been chilling out. Buka. I'm just looking for any familiar word. Like, is it on the mainland part of Indonesia? Or, like, is it going to be... Like, is it here? Or is it going to be down here in this this part? You know? Sasi Buka? <laughs> oh, my God. Whole, whole city is uh, moped squad. I mean, a lot of places, yeah. It's just so it's fuel efficient, um, and you can fit more of them on the road. And normally they don't have to like drive too far or whatever to like get to their jobs and stuff. Like a lot of cities are laid out that way. America is just like all about like big roads and giant shopping centers and fucking constantly being in your car because we got obsessed with cars in like the 50s or whatever and just did that all the time you know drive in drive throughs it's all the american dream baby so we spread out all of our cities and our suburbs ah ooh wah he ah ooh oh <laughs> wait what love the haircut thank you i appreciate that dude hope you've been very very well <laughs> oh my god we didn't you 
We did it. Tahan Lama. A llama again. Big brother. He's always watching. Barbershop established 1988. And then brother shoe care. Oh my god. Also established 1988. Are these the two brothers? The big brother does hair and the little brother does shoes. That's that's actually cute, right? If that's real. Big brother does the hair and then you get so you get the top of your body done by big bro and then little bro does the bottom of your body, which is your feet. A lot of coffee places? I mean, coffee is amazing, right? Wait, 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 wait. Plozo Timor Va. Is Timor something? Is that like a real thing? Timor, Timor. Timor makes the dream work. You know what they say. Plozo Timor Va. Or is that like the name of the fucking... <laughs> it's gonna mean nothing. No, and there's like places that are so small when I zoom in. Like, bro, look at how. Oh. Saw Timor to the south? Wait, did you? Wait, Timor Lest? Wait. You're right. What the fuck is this place? Timor. Is this it? Did we just magically find where we're supposed to be at? Is that it? At the same time, while you get a haircut, the other brother sizes your feet and gently puts shoes on you. Oh my god, amazing. The brothers. That could this this could be it, chat. We might have just Timor'd our Timor, you know? We might have done it. That might that might be a speed run record for us besides West Hartford. <laughs> Which I still which I still, um, you know, <laughs> to, to, in my defense, uh, I'm fucking stupid. So, <laughs> those are Timor, not Timur. Wait, did I did I jump the gun? Oh yeah 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. And it even said Indonesia. But that doesn't mean anything. Like, if they're in the same area, like, maybe it's Indonesian goods, right? That's a great point, though. We almost... I almost made a uh, critical error. You know? There's so much here, too. Kill Plozo Baru. Wait. Sab 2. W-I-B. Like, this, this all has to mean something, right? It's gotta... It's gotta. Okay, so maybe we're back in Indonesia after all. Maybe you're right. I appreciate that correction. Because that, that saved us from doing something unbelievably horrible. I need to go back and clip that entire West Hartford bit after streaming. <laughs> oh, God. Sen and Sabtu might be city and city. That's what I was thinking. And then, like, I could not... It's like looking around these maps at this small of an area is so rough, so hard. Could the WA mean like one of these, like Waha or Wanchi Waki? Could it, could it maybe? Like, or one Sabari? I don't know. No, my brains. Or wa 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 la Lindu. You know. Or wa wa. I love wa wa. I go to New Jersey. I always get a hot dog at wa wa. Wa wa land land away. Someone suggested that earlier. What music are we listening to? It's good. I don't remember the name of this song. It is, you can always use the uh, current, the exclamation point current song, all one word, all lowercase, to find out whatever's playing. Uh, I just have a royalty-free music playlist going that I put together. Um, there's so many W cities. Yeah, there's too many W cities here. Uh, this is Just Wanna Love by Conroe. Conroe makes a lot of good shit, actually. Really, really interesting stuff. Um, wait, 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 wait. Sapa, Salam, Senyu, okay. 
keep seeing this Ploso. I'm is that like Plaza maybe? God, I don't. I just don't know really. Hmm. I'm too spoiled by American signs that just say, like, the address of the business on them. And these probably do. Wait, that says Indonesia again. It's got it. So it's got to be Indonesia. Unless, wait, is this like a tourist billboard where it's like, go visit Indonesia? You're not actually Indone in Indonesia yet? You silly, silly, silly bitch. Is that what's going on? All W's, no L's. Yeah, I turned into Elmer Fudd. Santu also, yeah, we've been looking for like Santu, maybe. Like this looks like this looks promising. Ibu country, Is that like for international maybe. Java Timor, wait, whoa. So is there a place in Indonesia called Timor, and then we have Timor down there? Or is there also a Timur? Murder! Judith! Um. Fucking. I don't know, man. I don't know. This one's hard. This one's very hard. This one's hard. I just want to get a billion, million, trillion points for being the best Joe guessing. Guesser. Haji refers to Muslim pilgrimage? Oh, what the? Okay. So it's aimed at Indonesian Muslims. So it's like, hey, Indonesian Muslims. You should go to the play. Okay, well, let's. Okay. Okay, that's some good context. But it doesn't... Xbox, why are you telling me to download games right now? Get out of my face. Get out of here. Sorry, I had a pop-up. Um, there's a llama. Oh, wait. Hangul service. God damn it! That's not helpful at all. Jambuka. Wait, 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 wait. One of these, chat, one of these has got to have the, the secret to unlocking my third eye. Right? Pop-ups. <laughs> Definitely a place where the sky is mostly blue. I don't know about that one. You know? Hmm. Hmm. What the farts, man? There's all these signs. They, like... There's never a more humbling time than playing this game and ending up in a foreign country and being like, wow, Americans really are fucking dumb. Like, we have people come here and we're like, hey, why don't you speak English to them? And we're like total racist assholes and shit. And... These people can speak clearly some form of English as well as their native language. And also, like, they can decipher all this stuff easily. We're, we're just spoiled and stupid, you know? This kind of looks like the area in Mexico my family's from, but it's, like, across the map. <laughs> yeah, this is that definitely not Mexico, um, for sure. I mean, you would know. But yeah, there's a lot of area again, like I was saying earlier, the kind of the cool thing about GeoGuessr is it sort of proves to us that like there's a lot of very similar living conditions and ways of life all across the world, even in countries that are not connected really in any way, shape, or form. There's a little bit of like comfort and togetherness in that that I kinda like. You know what I'm saying here. So many words, so little information. At least so many, so many words and so little information for me. I'm sure anyone from here can decipher these fine. And I, again, I'm just a stupid American. 
So like I have no idea what half of the things on the signs are like where it was like JL dot whatever and then it had like a phone number and then like a bunch of numbers and stuff. Like this probably gives all the information contextually that you need. Black PlayStation. I want a blue PlayStation. That'd be cool. Wow. Four and five. You got full screen TVs. Game original Bisa Online. Oh, man. I love the original Bisa Online. Genshin Impact's right there. Wait, we got Fortnite. We got Fortnite and Genshin Impact. Oh, my God. Look at that. They know how to Fortnite dance. They're great. Ploso Baru. Number, okay. So we started at the Alibaba mark. This is so interesting. I love this because this is like traveling without spending money. Which is really neat. Alpha Midi. So that's like a little convenience store. Looks like 24-7 convenience store. Back where we started. By the garbage truck. Pl a Ploso Baru might also be a possibility. Yeah, I keep, I keep thinking that... But also, I feel like that's just, like, words for, like, Plaza Baru or something. But I, I also could just be crazy. Because they have Ploso... Wait. Yeah, here's Ploso Teamer again. So, the Ploso word... I don't know if that is anything other than... Like, a word for a place. Wait, here we go. Maybe it is Ploso Baru. Surabaya... This, this might be Superwash, Laundry, Killalan, and Satuan, and BursonSquared.com, your home cleaning services. These might be the best context clues we've gotten. We're lost tourists, but we're not anxiety-ridden. Exactly. I feel like closers are streets. Oh, yeah, that makes way more sense. I'm just, again, I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> Surabaya? Is there a Surabaya? Bueller? Is there a Surabaya? I keep seeing the Maka as well, but I don't think Makas are... I think, feel like there's multiple Makas. Like Makas in... Australia. Get some Makas. Chat! Ah! I want to get it close to right. I want to. And I will. Because I am in control of my own fate. Wait. Sambawa. Sambawa. So bad at geography that I can't even recognize parts of my own country. It's a really small one. So, Surabaya. If I can find that. If that's a... Oh, wait. It's literally right here. Wait. I did not know that was a place. Shit. Okay, 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 okay. So we're throwing it there. But we're going back to the start. Ploso Timor 4. Can we find any of the Plosos? Wait, we got... We, oh, there's the JLs too. You know the JLs. <laughs> Oh, man. Late night gang can't, could find their way out of a paper bag, but not a large bag with distracting words inside. <laughs> you have a point. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So this is City City. This is going to be... We might need to look for, like, landmarks. Or are these, like, major enough streets that they're going to just, like, appear somewhere here? Fuck. This is the last one of the night I have to do well. Come on. I might have missed it, though. So, jail Ploso 1? Yeah, but we need Ploso Timur. The jail is the stuff that's on the... On the signs, right? Or are we on Ploso whatever you just said? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Brongolin 2G. 
Oh my god. They don't even have 5G, they have 2G. How will they ever be brainwashed into femboys now? Um, where... Brongaland, Brongaland... Zoom? Yeah, except that when we zoom like this... Wait! We got Baru 2, 4, 5, um... We need, uh, Peloso Teamer 4, 5. God, why? Oh! <gasps> wait, wait, okay, JL Brongland, uh, what was it? What, uh, uh, 2G! JL Brongland 2G! Right here! Oh my god! We found it, we found it, we found it. Um, alright, I'm just putting it on the road so we remember where the road is. I did it. Alright, let's go back to the start. And now we have to find where this intersects with Ploso Timor 4. Ploso Timor 4. And then we have won the whole video game. We've won the night, chat. The weird energy we were talking about earlier. Dispelled, defeated, deleted, destroyed. All because of this. Wait, no. Yeah, we're okay. Wait, we're on the corner, Bronglin 2G, and because that that's like the gate that like says, and across from Plosa Team Morpho. I don't know how the streets work here. <laughs> it's like fucking nuts. Like, why would the street sign be perpendicular? I I don't get that part. All right, I'm going to find it. Closer bar, closer to teamwork. Well, it's got to be where these two intersect then, right? That's Pakar. Okay, wait. So this is where the street ends. Okay. We're going along the street. What are these other intersecting ones? What the fuck? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Closer Baru. Closer Team War 4. <gasps> we're literally right here. Chat, we're right here! Wait, Cafe Frozen! That's the one that was... So we, we literally started, like, right here. Right? Alibaba Mart. Alibaba Mart. Is that on here? Alpha Midi Plosa Baru. Black PlayStation. Wait, where was Black PlayStation in re relation to us? Black PlayStation. Oh my god, we're, we're literally right here. We started right here. We started right here. We started right here. Okay. Chat, here we go. This is our, our first perfect score of the night. Esports Arena? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Wow. Central Esports Arena. What do they play in there? Black PlayStation, apparently. Holy shit! Three yards! We did it! We fucking did it! Oh my god, 5,000 points. Three yards all way. Let's go, baby. We have done it. Incredible. Incredible. I leveled up. I'm level five. I forgot there's levels in this fucking game. So our first guess, not the worst for being in the middle of nowhere in Russia. Second guess was was West Hartford. He spawned in front of a bus that said West Hartford, and I went, I think that's Connecticut. And then it literally was. Um Three wasn't the worst. We were like a country and a half over. Damn. I literally have touched it with a 10 foot ball. We could have. I'm on your way to becoming a GeoGuessr God Gamer. As, you know, the number one eSport GeoGuessr. That is my goal. We were pretty close on that one. That one wasn't too bad either. Like, exact same area, exact part of the state, pretty much. And then that one was like right on the money. God damn, that one was good. That was fun. 
I like the ones where they put you in a city, you know? Those are way more fun. All right. Game breakdown. We have 2,000 points. Almost perfect score. 3,000 points. 4,600, which was pretty good. And then the perfect. Pretty good. Pretty good. We did it. Close Obaru. We did it. It's 2 in the morning. I didn't want to stream this late. <laughs> but I get... I get this game is so bad for me because I get so invested into it. It's literally impossible for me to just log out and not play it for eight hours. All right, chat. Um, I have work tomorrow. Oh, no. Go get some rest. Uh, I'm going to end the stream here. It's two in the morning. Um, I'm so tired. Uh, again, probably no stream Friday. Uh, just due to the fact that it's just, it's, it's a crazy world. It's been a crazy life. Today was just weird. I had to get up early and do car stuff, and that's never fun for anyone, so I'm just a little bit sleepy. Um, but uh, if I don't see you tomorrow night, like if Morgan and I don't like peace out of the party early, uh, I will definitely see you on Sunday. Who knows? Maybe I'll hook it up with like a bonus Saturday stream or something. Um, either way, uh, thank you so much for the support on the stream. Thank you so much for supporting the new haircut. Those of you just tuning in, look at this. We got the bob going a little bit here. Got a bob instead of the long hair that we had. A little bit of the late 80s, early 90s heartthrob look. You know how it is. Uh, this was necessary. Got a double feature movie night in the Discord. If you're not part of the Discord, please join the Discord. Uh, the movies that were voted on by the community are the first one is a family friendly one, uh, which is going to be Beetlejuice, which is a classic, just silly movie, not really horror, just, you know, kind of creepy and weird and funny. Um, the second movie is going to be a heavier one. It's a classic as well, a Korean zombie movie called Train to Busan, which honestly is incredible Korean cinema. So definitely check that out as well. Um, if you can, there's going to be content warnings and trigger warnings that the mods have set up so that people are aware of those. Um, so definitely fun. Definitely fun. Um, yeah, go, go check it out. Go, go entertain yourselves that way. If uh, I end up not streaming either way, the mods put in so much work again. Thank you to the mod team, uh, for putting together the movie night. So that's going to be the Halloween movie night. I'll definitely see you Sunday. I have a special thing planned on Sunday as well. So something to look forward to. Uh, and then Monday, maybe I'll do an extra thing, but probably not. Tuesday, I will most likely do another special stream as well, the day after Halloween. So, yeah. Uh, just a quick good news. Uh, recently came out as buy slash panda friends and family. Went as smoothly as I knew it would. I'm so grateful to be surrounded by such amazing people. As, congrats to you. I'm so happy to hear that you are surrounded by wonderful support of people that is incredible that is really really great can we get some like pride spam in the chat for as as we're so proud of you here that is amazing i'm so glad that you were uh, able to share that with people in your life and share that with us that's so cool thank you so so much for letting us know thank you that what a great way to end this stream tonight was you know it was quieter sleepier type of stream um just because i started at like 11 45 at night just one of those days, weird shit in the air, you know? Uh, but I appreciate all of you who stuck around here and hung out and enjoyed the energy and enjoyed my company and weird commentary about shit. All of you are fantastic. Thank you so much for adding to the weirdness, as you always do. It's just a joy to be surrounded by people who sort of get me. Uh, so thank you. I hope that it was fun. Um, check out the, the merch restock if you haven't. Again, I can't guarantee that that merch is not going to just fly off the shelves and be sold out immediately once it gets off a of pre-order. So if you, again, not to pressure people to spend their money, but just as a heads up, because this is the third or fourth time that we've restocked the beanies and the sweatpants, and people have always, like, DM me on, like, Instagram and been like, why the fuck didn't you stock more? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't work in the SCP warehouse. Maybe that's part of it. I, I don't have control over that. That's, um... A cost-effective decision that SCP makes based on how many pre-orders came in. So you're guaranteed it if you get a pre-order. Uh, after that, you're not guaranteed it. It's just whatever's left in the warehouse, even if it's only size extra small of everything. Um, and you're like, well, shit, I wear a medium. 
they're, they're not going to print any more smalls unless we do another big restock or something. So just as a heads up, that's the way that that works. Pre-orders are guaranteed to get whatever size of whatever design they're looking for. So I hope that that is something that, you know, people are interested in still. I bought uh, gray sweatpants so I can tempt the masses this season. Well, thank you for supporting. Man, the sweat, the sweats, I got to say again, one of my favorite items. They're so comfy. They're so, so good. Um, so, yeah. Low-key, though, the hoodie and shirt I got is the comfiest. Oh, my God. I'm so glad that you think so. I, I again, my hoodies, not to talk a, too big of a game, not to talk too much shit, but probably some of the comfiest hoodies that any creators ever put out. Uh, and part of that is just due to the fact that I'm, I'm going through the same people who do, like, Ethan's merchandise and, like, Unisana's merch. Stuff that's, like, pretty high quality, so. Is there any way to change currency on the site? I don't think so. I'm so sorry. So sorry if that's the case. You can always try to email uh, support on um, SCP's website and see if that's something that they can help accommodate for. Uh, I want the beanie so bad, but I'm unsure if I'll be able to make enough to buy one before pre-orders end, but I'm going to try my damnedest. Well, I hope that they're still around. Again, I, I don't want anyone to feel pressured or feel like any FOMO or anything like that. Um, but yeah, there's no guarantee that they're going to last long because every single time I put up beanies, they've sold out within like, I think, like four to seven days of the pre-order ending. So that's why I've been telling people pre-orders should last about a week, week and a half-ish. Uh, and then SCP will send me an email and be like, hey, we're going to be pushing these to print. So... Your SCP hoodies are even comfier than the Unisana hoodie I got. You know, I'll, I'm going to take that as like a badge of honor because that's, that's a nice thing to say. Thank you. I'm glad that you like them. Hey, what's up, Kenna? Welcome to the end of the stream. I'm so sorry uh, that we're ending here. I actually streamed longer than I wanted to. I wanted to end around like 1.30 so we could like raid into someone, but I'm, I'm going to pass out of my chair here. Uh, chat, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for vibing. Thank you for being amazing. Thank you for supporting the merch, the new haircut, the... New emo, we got Gerb Umer. If you haven't used it, spam some Gerb Umer if you had a good time here tonight. Um, and again, you can feel free to use that anytime you want to make fun of me for being old as fuck. <laughs> uh, that's why it's there. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. I hope it was fun. Uh, I haven't done GeoGuessr in a while. I kind of want to do earlier GeoGuessr streams too because it's fun when we get more and more people talking and guessing and being silly with each other. Um, thanks for being respectful about, like, you know, code of conduct of not, like, backseating or, like, spoiling things for people. Uh, you're all amazing for doing that. Really, really kind. Uh, but we'll, we'll have more stream soon. Promise you. Uh, thank you for 10 subs tonight. That's really, really nice. Um, thanks for all the follows, bit subs, resubs, gifted subs, anything that came through. Very much appreciated. Uh, hopefully next stream will be a lot earlier in the night as well. Um, go scatter to the winds. Be nice. Be mindful. Again, always, always, always be mindful. That is uh, something that we are going to aim for 100% of the time if we can. Um, obviously, we're all human, but be mindful as much as you can. Be be kind, be gracious, be grateful, etc. Just be good. Uh, see you guys around. Thank you so much for keeping me company here super late at night. Thank you so much for vibing. Even if you just lurked and didn't participate in GeoGuessr, you're great for being here at all. Thank you. Um, I hope that you all have, uh, you know, just a great night. Like, thank you very, very much for all that you do to support these streams. It's uh, why the community keeps growing. Why, even in the moments where I'm like, man, I'm boring and redundant and stupid. Um, the, the community has only sort of grown over time. And that's really cool. So thank you so, so much. Um, hope you all have an absolutely wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it may be for you. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you so very much. I really, really do. Finger hearts, as usual gonna go ahead and end this stream here um again hopefully the longer stream next time uh also technically it was like i mean we streamed for like two-ish hours or two and a half hours uh just the obs crashed which was so fun hopefully that doesn't happen next time either but uh i'll check you all in the next one have a wonderful wonderful weekend be safe have fun goodbye everybody goodbye 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 I'm falling in love with you. I'm falling in love with you.
Take a drink, take a drink, take a drink, take a drink. 